Okay, that's thing one, two, three. I hope this is online. I think this is online. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this is online. I hope this is online. I am now. <laughs> wait, current stream's bitrate is... Wait, I'm getting low bitrate. I hope not. I hope that's just like a temporary thing. I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's... It looks alright. The stream looks alright, so I hope it's alright. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, uh, welcome to uh, Coffee Talk, the VTuber talk show, Thingy Magic. You know the drill. Before we start this... Oh yeah, wait, wait. Uh, and yeah, welcome. Welcome everyone to the stream. Welcome Mariko, welcome Jason. And yeah, today's guest we... For, for today... Yeah, today's guest we have Remy, who, who is the, I guess, you know, the Dreamfox VTuber. So yeah, introduce yourself, Remy. <laughs> Hello, I am Remy. Uh, as you may know me, I am... The Dream Fox VTuber. I make videos about dreaming, uh, sleeping, uh, and pretty much anything else I want to make videos about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super dope. Yes, yes. Yeah, and yeah, oh yeah, and uh, I think I forgot to like ask you to say say this, but yeah, you know, just want to make sure that this is make sure you know that this is just a fun and casual interview, and uh, you know, you don't really need to answer all of the questions. All of them are optional. Feel free to skip any questions if you're feeling uncomfortable answering them, because who knows? Like maybe I suddenly like touch on a question that I'm not supposed to ask or something and you know feel free to make jokes and have fun <laughs> yeah right, I'll keep that in mind <laughs> oh man also like uh, look at chat wait did I really mention you two times yeah I mean you you came up in one of my uh what you call again streams where I when I was talking about dreams on one of the interviews actually mm. because we were talking about dreams so that's interesting <laughs> yeah well, uh, well, well, what are you talking about, about dreams <laughs> yeah I mean we were talking about like uh, the the person I'm interviewing had a dream where they were, like last night, they were dreaming of them getting interviewed by me before getting interviewed by me at the morning. <laughs> I, I I had the exact same dream. Too Wait, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude, tell me about it. <laughs> oh, I guess, I guess it's because you know, just kind of like on, on the front of your mind, like ah, I know, I'm right? Doing it. Interview tomorrow, <laughs> <laughs> and then your brain is like, "Hey, I got you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a simulation for you in your brain." <laughs> it's like, ah, thank you, brain. I appreciate it. <laughs> How did it go? Uh, I, I, I don't remember. I didn't write it down in my dream journal. <laughs> I don't remember if the interview went good or bad. <laughs> it's all right though, yeah. <laughs> the, per the person I was in the video last time, like, it, they dream is like they they woke up and then I'm already there in the room, sitting on the table, and I'm like, okay, ready for your interview? <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, <I'm> not ready. <laughs> oh man, that's beautiful. It was beautiful, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, so uh, okay, yeah, you know, let's let's get to like some uh, normal stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what what makes you want to like you know what why dreaming like what's what is why is that your kind of like content why pick things like dreaming you know like how do you start uh, it, this whole thing? Well, uh, I always really liked dreaming, and it always felt like I was there's like don't no one no, don't no, no talk about dreaming. <laughs> it doesn't feel like there's that much like dreaming content on YouTube. It doesn't feel like people really know much about dreaming. Uh, whenever I talk to people about dreaming, I always get really excited and like, but, but no one ever seems to know like anything about it. I'm like, wow, that's kind of depressing. <laughs> so like, I, I, I see a gap here. I, I have a hobby that I really like. I want to share this hobby with as many people as possible. Uh, so I figured I might as well make videos that I find fun, interesting and educational uh, to kind of, you know, educate the community about dreaming so that way more people know about it more people can experience it because like like you know it's, it's awesome <laughs> you can experience so many amazing wonderful things every mm -hmm. night but like you know people just don't have that in front of their mind they don't remember it because of it and they never end up experiencing all these amazing things so uh it is it is my duty to help people uh, be educated about this uh and also other random videos along the way uh, for the funsies of it Nice, yeah. Uh, also, yeah. Uh, welcome, welcome, Beauty to the stream. Welcome, Gorhani to the stream. Welcome, Muri to the stream, and welcome, Maskan to the stream. How's everyone's day been? Oh yeah, and everyone on chat, feel free to ask questions if you want. <laughs> hey, it will be fun. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, uh, what's we call again? Uh, dreaming. I, I also like. I also got. Uh, <laughs> I'm also really into dreaming. Unfortunately, like nowadays, I don't, don't really re write on my journal that much because you know, ever since I entered college, it's like. Oh dear! <laughs> I, when I woke, <laughs> when I wake up, I immediately go. I don't have much time to actually write. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, usually, uh, usually when I wake up and I do dr- fill in my dream journal, like it's yeah. never like in the morning. It's always at like 3 a.m. It's like, yeah, oh, that was an amazing dream. I need to write this down right now. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I have a little, I have a little like little, little cat lamp uh, next to my bed. So I just like head pad it, and it turns on, and then I quickly scribble in my journal, and I go back to sleep. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, same. Same. I'm bit. I mean, I mean, for me, I mean, you know, ever since I started featuring, I also like have struggle actually uh, getting quality sleep. I'll be honest, because you know, back then I used to like <laughs> sleep on. 10 p.m. and then wake up at 3 a.m. to you know do do the usual dream thingy, uh, mm-hmm. and then like you know I just after after the whole uh what you call again after 3 a.m. right on my dream journal I usually do just do stuff until it's actually time for me to go to school. <laughs> Nowadays, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, but if you, yeah. like, wake up at 3 a.m., that, like, opens up the, like, perfect opportunities to have even more dreams and uh, intense lucid dreams, too. Because, ah. like, if you wake up at, like, 3 a.m., you know, you stay awake for, like, 10, 15 minutes, and then you go back to bed, uh, then you can use all sorts of different techniques to get into lucid dreaming, uh, which is which is, which is going to be my next uh, dreaming videos and what that's going to be about. But, uh, yeah. It, it, that's always a lot of fun. I haven't been able to do that yeah. recently in in a good little while, but it's a lot of fun. Gonna be excited for that because you know, I'll be honest. I really want to get back into the whole dreaming thing because it's always been like I always find dreams super fascinating. I love it so much. <laughs> but you know, again, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you know, regarding yeah, this yeah, dreaming, yeah. it's also like it's always something that I haven't been able to do consistently. So I, you're gonna be really excited and maybe even like you know get back into doing the whole dream thing, magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 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 the most annoying part. Like it's like it's it just always feels inconsistent with how people experience dreams. Uh, that's why I think you know my videos helping kind of guide people through it will help make that more consistent and you know, more people focus on it. The easier it will be for them because uh, you know if you like put your mind to it, like I really want to dream, then you're 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 gonna dream, and then yeah, <laughs> uh, remember your dreams with dream journals. Then it gets easier, and then you know at the end getting lucid dreams. Oh. That's the funnest part. <laughs> yeah. yeah, remembering the dreams also take a lot of practice. I know, I know, like I know how people say a lot of people, like you know, almost everyone dreams, but it is usually like people can't really remember their dreams, so they need to like, learn how to recall their dreams and stuff like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's always the hardest part because yeah. people are like, ah, oh, no, I don't dream. It's like, ah, yes, you do. You do dream. You just you just forget. Don't remember it. <laughs> you just don't remember it. <laughs> Oh man, thank you for the hydrate by the way, Jason. Yes, just like no Carrington, I eh, know, but yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh man. <laughs> I'm hydrating with tea, if, if that counts. Yeah, nah, hey, it's the same thing, it's the same thing. Some people hydrate with tea, coffee, some people even do use alcohol. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no. I believe it, some people does. <laughs> A lot maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Oh man. Oh. So what's what's the most interesting dream you had? Like something that you just can't get off your mind, the dream that you always oh. remember till this day. Because sometimes that happens. Oh jeez. Yeah. Oh jeez. Oh yeah. I, I have one very specifically in mind. <laughs> uh there is this there is this one night uh where um like I've I've had lucid dreams, right? Mm-hmm. And there is there is there is you know there's a certain quality to them. You know, you're aware in the in the dream that you're dreaming. And when you do that, usually the dreams are kind of shaky, kind of fuzzy, and it's very easy to just like wake yourself up because you're like so excited, like, oh, I'm dreaming. Uh. Wow. And then <laughs> you know, your heart rate increases, sleep paralysis breaks, you start moving in real life, and then bam, you're awake. It's kind of a pain. <laughs> uh, but this one time, like, oh, geez, it was like three years ago now, uh, I had this dream, and I remember like I, I had that moment, like, oh, I'm dreaming. And then I woke up, I'm like, oh, Damn it! <laughs> and then I realized, wait a minute, I'm 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 in a new dream, <laughs> and it was weird. And I'm like, and I wake myself up again, and then I'm in a new dream, and then it just kept on happening again and again and again and again, and it started to kind of freak me out. Like, wait, what? I'm I'm stuck in the dream, and weirdly <laughs> enough, everything in the dream was like really, really, really clear. Like it's normally, like I said, lucid dreams yeah. are normally fuzzy in some way but this was like so clear like it felt like real life was blurry compared to this dream it was absolutely mind-blowing and then that dream felt like it lasted like a really 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 long time i felt like i was just stuck in that dream because every single time i woke up i was in like a new setting a new location (laughs) and every time that happened like 
I, I get I constantly got put in situations like where my brain is like trying to spook me like oh uh, you're in you're in this like rundown hotel in the middle of nowhere uh, you better be spooked but I'm like oh no 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 this is like the sixth time this has happened I know what you're trying to do brain you're trying to spook me I ain't gonna fall for no spooks <laughs> so like I have this little back and forth battle with my subconsciousness trying to <laughs> trying to screw with me I'm like no uh uh this this is fun this is cool <laughs> uh, and, it's fighting uh, your brain. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. And I just remember so many vivid parts about that. Uh, one of which, one of which was, uh, I remember I was like, in this big green soccer field. I'm like, oh, ah, cool. This is amazing. I started flying <laughs> up. And I like looked around. And I realized that the, the giant soccer field is on a big old floating island. And behind the giant floating island is an even bigger floating island with a giant tree that just goes up into space. There's these floating islands everywhere. Uh, which you know, kind of kind of served as some inspiration for some some of my lore, but uh, <laughs> af like after that dream, I was like, that that was like mind blowing. I still have no idea what kind of dream that was. Still trying to figure that out, but it was incredible. Yeah. It just happens dreams like that sometimes, yeah. And I can tell, like you know, the, when you mentioned like the island thing, like, hmm, that reminds me of a certain scene in your videos. <laughs> 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 oh um, man. Wait, which thing specifically? <laughs> and I, I mean, you know, your 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 dream world thing image on your videos. It's really nice <laughs> looking. <laughs> my, my little introductions and my outro sometimes easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, looking oh. at like uh, looking at yeah, uh, it... chat again. <laughs> yeah, look at chat. Question. I mean, Barry is asking weird questions. If parallel universes are real, is there a universe where anime characters are real? <laughs> no, kind of off topic, but hey, <laughs> if you want to answer it, Aww. feel free to answer it. <laughs> oh, let me scroll back up to that yeah. question. Where was it? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, da, 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 da. Can you repeat the question, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The question from Barry, a bit unrelated, but if parallel universes are real, is there a universe where anime characters are real? I mean, maybe. I don't know. Yes, maybe, <laughs> probably. I don't know. If there's, Who knows? if there's, if there's alternate universes, that means there's infinite universes, and if there's infinite universes, there's definitely universes with cat girls. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> also, I, I thought you were a cat. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I, they thought I was a cat, but 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 but, but, but my ears, they're they're the big old fluffy fox they, ears. They, they can't they can't see the floof. They can't see the floof? Yeah. No. I don't know. Can they see my can they see my fluffy tail in the background? I mean, I can, I can. I don't know if the others can. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Believe me, there's a fluffy tail there. <laughs> Uh, okay, Jason, uh, say Jason said, since Angel isn't here, I'll pop the question. Smash or pass, pass Remy? Oh dear lord. <laughs> I mean, hey, did you know, did you know you actually showed up in my Smash or Pass uh, video stream? <laughs> did, did I? What, what, what was I rated? <laughs> <laughs> I can't exactly remember, but I remember, I remember I passed you just in case you watch the video because it's gonna be weird. <laughs> it's gonna be weird. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, you know how like you know how when like you can't really smash friends without feeling weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling slightly awkward. <laughs> just, yeah, just put me off in the, in the side awkward. category, the wood head pat category. <laughs> <laughs> head pat, yeah, then uh, then shoot me a head pat category. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, definitely head pats. Oh man, that, that's, that's, like, that's like my thing. I love me some head pats. <laughs> Oh, oh god, yeah. Oh, come on, I need to bring that up. So, Ariko also thought that I'm a bunny, god damn it. <laughs> come on, <laughs> I don't even look like a bunny. <laughs> I mean, you do have big old floofy ears. I, I, can, I can see that mistake it's a, a little bit. It's not bunny bench. ears though, I got the, I got the tail. <laughs> a long one. <laughs> Oh, I, I remember when I, when I first uh, saw one of your videos, I saw your your giant ears. I'm like, oh, follow. <laughs> hey, <laughs> uh, I see, I see big floofy ears. Uh, that that's that's an immediate follow right there. Yeah. Oh, I love I love how we what call it? I love how we met actually. Like you know, we met because you like left a comment in one of my videos, and it was like, <laughs> and then I just suddenly <laughs> left a comment on your videos. I I remember it's a really long comment. I can't remember how, what it, how it goes though. <laughs> A really yeah, long comment. comment. <laughs> I think it's about uh, my dreams or something. Yeah, I, 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 I love that. <laughs> yeah, and then you suddenly pop onto my Discord, and then I suddenly pop onto your Discord, and then the rest is, I don't know. Like, hello. Oh, man. <laughs> we are friends now. Yay. Uh, the first time I saw you, I'm like, holy shit, do I have a twin? <laughs> <laughs> Big fluffy pink yeah. fox ears. Yeah, 
<laughs> pink with animal ears. That's like, oh, they should I find my uh, my brother from a different mother or something? Oh, the <laughs> Oh man! All yes. about the fluffy ears. I agree. All about the floof, <laughs> uh, floof supremacy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's <That> nice. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, I also know that like you know notice that you haven't been streaming yet. You don't really stream yet. I mean it's it's fine, but I, I don't plan on starting anytime soon. Actually, I'm just curious. Um, well, I, I I tried doing like two test streams and like they went all right, but like I I I, I don't know. I have a hard time entertaining myself as it is, <laughs> and if I can't keep myself entertained, I can't keep other people entertained. <laughs> So I, I like I like to I don't know I guess I'm uh, I'm a bit of a perfectionist I like to overanalyze take my time with things uh, so the videos they're pretty perfect for me because then I can uh, be like aha I want uh, all these little perfect details to line up to you know say a message and then you know I can always rewatch that video and be like aha I did good job head pat head pat <laughs> uh, but with a, with a stream uh, it feels like a lot more pressure because you're live and uh, I, 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 I don't know <laughs> and it it's always is. really depressing if like you know, uh, it's like hey uh that first test stream like there's people there you know it was going pretty good uh but then like i look over it's like oh there's no one watching i feel awkward now uh, uh i'm just gonna talk Aww. to myself <laughs> so, like, I mean... I crazy. <laughs> oh man i mean when, when you're streaming never look at your view count that's like that's what people that's, usually that's tell to each other yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, from and one streamer to another, another, we always teach each other. Never look at your <laughs> uh, view count, regardless of how how big you are. <laughs> Big or small, <laughs> never look at it. It's just, it's just gonna kill your morale. <laughs> uh. Uh, yes, he is right. I, I did indeed play Stardew Valley last time, uh, and I remember playing Stardew Valley, and I just thought to myself, like, wow, this is really slow and really boring. I, if I was watching <laughs> me, I wouldn't like this. <laughs> oh, sometimes I feel that as well. Sometimes it gets like really, uh, you know, really, you get really anxious because, hmm, is this going to be a good video? Is this going to be a good stream? Am I, how, how can I be, how will I be able to clip this later? I don't know, stuff like that, you know? Oh, yeah. man. Because with my first stream, I was playing Fury, which is like super fast paced action <laughs> game where you got to really focus. You got to, you got to do some crazy things really fast. Uh, and then I went from that to Stardew Valley. Yeah. <laughs> It's like ah, I'm gonna I'm gonna plant some potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm actually like you know, for me, I actually enjoy slow paced game a bit games a bit more because I get I get more time to actually like you know talk a lot. When on face yeah. fast paced games, I tend to get hyper focused and like you know when I don't talk to chat, I feel bad. But <laughs> yeah, I need I needed some something in the middle because with the Fury game, I feel like I wasn't able to pay attention to the chat too much, and with Stardew Valley. I feel like there was little, so little going on. I can do like almost no commentary. Like, aha, I am now walking forwards. Aha, I am now purchasing <laughs> potatoes. Aha, I am now speaking to this person. So exciting. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, Jason. Hey, wait. I, I, I remember like before the stream, me and Revy talk about me having like toggles that I forget the, the hotkeys off and now I get the toggle. Oh, come on. It's been, I, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I forgot the toggle. Hold on, let me check. What is my toggle? It's left control F5. Okay, I need to remember that. Left control, which one is left control? Here it is. And F5. There you go. Okay, that works. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, that's that's my one toggle, and I still struggle to remember it <laughs> because I rarely use it. Only like once every few months or something. <laughs> it sounds like a difficult toggle to remember. Yeah, it's it's just one toggle. It's only Control F five. It's not even that hard. <laughs> uh, no, maybe I should change it to something more remember, like more memorable. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I have all my toggles uh, kind of kind of hockey to my mouse a little bit, even though uh, I like, never use them in any of my videos. <laughs> they're always there. So if I want to do like a little 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 buffy face, I can do this. <laughs> oh man! Also, why am I getting an applause for the thingy magic? Oh come on! Then I'll get sound relief that it's weird. <laughs> but remember those toggles, and remember the first to, to see this get up. Wait, I'm the first to see what get up? I'm not sure. Uh, you should have to play. I don't know. Why should I do to pass the, do to pass the math exam? Study, goddammit. <laughs> even though, <laughs> even though I never study for my math exams, I don't know. Math is the worst. Yeah. <laughs> That's like that is that is that is the the worst subject. Yeah. I am I am the worst. <laughs> I'll be honest though, I like math. 
<laughs> like I, I, I never I'm study sorry. for math, but <laughs> I never study for math, but I always I always get good grades. On the other hand, I never study for like I mean I always study for things like history and uh, language study, but I always get horrible grades on those uh, those <laughs> subjects for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, I've I've been learning uh, music recently, and uh, oh. I, I'm still I'm still pretty uh, new in it. But I like reading through it, learning about it. It's like, well, music is just like really complicated <laughs> math. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of oh, cool, kind of beautiful, but at the same time, like uh, math. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like music in the sense of like composing a music or playing an instrument. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to uh, play the piano and my synthesizer, uh, and I'm also trying to learn how to kind of uh, compose things together because uh, the idea of making music sounds really kind of awesome. Uh, like uh, my, my most recent video, <laughs> I, I kind of made like a little music to dream to video uh, where it kind of gives you some really uh, cool, like deep bass music to kind of relax to while there's like an animated uh, kind of li little image of uh, me exploring some dreams on a little boat through an endless cityscape uh, and like I, I was listening to that I'm like oh this music is so cool and relaxing and like from what I've learned in music so far like I kind of picked up on certain parts of how the music worked I'm like I, I, I can do this <laughs> I can make stuff like this <laughs> I'm gonna make stuff like this and then I, I started I started learning really hard after that <laughs> nice <laughs> welcome final to the stream by the way <laughs> and yeah, and yeah, I feel like I feel like we need more music YouTubers. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's a lot. Just like you know, just you just need to know where you what to look at. <laughs> oh man, yeah, mu it feels like music YouTubers are definitely a lot more rare. And uh, yeah. I, I definitely like to be. Gone. That's that a lot really of cool. artists, but not that much uh, <laughs> musicians. <laughs> and plus, uh, uh, the the synthesizer <clears throat> I have, this thing is is so much fun to play with. Uh, I I learn like what all the knobs and switches and dials do. Uh, even though I really didn't know how to play it, <laughs> so I, I can, I can, I can make, I can make it make all these cool noises, but like I can't make those noises musical. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like playing with the synthesizer is so fun. Oh man, remember so back it in the day is. when I when I used to play with uh, FL Studio, if you know what that is. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I, while well, I was looking at different uh, programs to make music with, uh, I tried out Ableton. Uh, didn't work out very well, but FL Studios was one of the ones I was looking at. <laughs> Yeah. What program do you use to make music now nowadays? Like right oh, now? Oh, uh, I I kind of I kind of briefly touched on that a while back, but uh, I've decided to just kind of learn the fundamentals of music and get really good at actually playing it and kind of have a f solid understanding and foundation for trying to go into it. Because before I tried to go into it without knowing any of that stuff <laughs> and. Uh, it didn't work out very well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like it just just uh, kind of smash it in some weird samples or something and make something that's that sounds good kind of. No, yeah. For me, for me, I just I just yeah, I just spam notes randomly and uh, you know, hey, it sounds good. I guess <laughs> kind of like that. <laughs> Never really made anything <laughs> proper. It's just yeah, you know, I just do it for fun. I guess <laughs> Never really got into mm. it that much. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it, it, it is cool to like you know make something creatively and then look back and I'd be like, wow, I, I know, this. right? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. it's a very accomplishing feeling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I guess nowadays like the art thing I do is like just well drawing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, not really music because I've, even though, even though I really like music and maybe maybe in the future I will try to learn music. Hey, I like earlier a, few, a while ago like I actually just just today like in the afternoon I had been thinking hmm, maybe I should do like a, a stream where I just randomly play around with FL Studio and maybe like maybe make something interesting <laughs> or you know like no. <laughs> make something cursed uh, by using my voice as like sound samples and <laughs> you know turning into a beat or something. <laughs> That sounds uh, like fun. <laughs> yeah, it sounds really fun. And you know, like uh, everyone on chat can like send it there. You know, send send samples that they like, and then I can slap them into the uh, composition Combine it all together. <laughs> yeah, and make a monstrosity <laughs> of something. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very. Very is like. Very likes to like uh, send. <clears throat> Oopsies. I don't know. <laughs> Coughing. Sorry. Uh, you know, weird. <laughs> Things, what you mean? Weird things, I guess. You know, we have two to three minutes of life, but it reduces every time we take a breath. Say, buddy. Eh, I guess. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Two to uh, three minutes of life and recess of every breath we take. I mean, 
kind of. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I guess, yeah. <laughs> like, like, did you, <laughs> like, did you know 100% of people who drink water eventually dies? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. We should stop drinking water. <laughs> we need to ban water immediately. <laughs> Oh man, water is killing us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of like that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Also, oh, like a uh, while ago, I noticed you said like, uh, you know, you don't you don't even know how to entertain yourself. How are you gonna supposed to, how how are you supposed to entertain other people? Like, hey, come on, right now you're entertaining everyone. <laughs> More or less. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. It's a lot easier when you have someone to talk to and bounce, bounce things off of. When it's just uh, kind of, kind of, kind of you, you on, in Stardew Valley talking to a villager, it's it's, it's a lot more difficult. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, either you have to embrace your mentally deranged side and talk to yourself like a psychopath. <laughs> uh, That's the way to do it. Yeah, it takes a while to learn, I'll be honest. Like, hey, my first game is like a VN, so it like I can just read the dialogues when I'm not talking. But you know, after I get used to it, I switch from a VN to an actual game because I've when I actually get used to it, I don't like playing VNs because I read I read the dialogues way too much and not chat. <laughs> it gets no, it I'm... slowly to slide. Maybe you should try a VN in the future if you just you're just starting out, who knows? <laughs> yeah. Well, or hey, maybe right, like maybe yeah. Yeah, maybe even get onto more collabs, hey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the collapse idea is, is a good idea because it's it's a lot easier to talk to <laughs> yeah. to talk to someone else and it's like aha, I have idea bounce <laughs> idea off of you idea gets bounced back it's like it's like playing ping pong. <laughs> hey, feel free to reach out to me at any time if you want to like do a collab or something, <laughs> a different <Yeah>. one. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that in mind. Yeah, uh, yeah, like like play, like playing a game. Uh, I I I don't know any good multiplayer games. Uh, Same. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, like, uh, like I usually play hard. single player games, so it's it gets it, it's kind of hard. <laughs> I know, oh, right? Uh, it's like uh, look at Steam sort by uh, co-op game, aha. <laughs> oh, oh man! Yeah. And you know, like the the worst part is that my PC isn't that strong, so every time my friend has like a collab a game they want to like play with play with me, it's like, hmm, can I run this? And then I try to run it, and then oh no, why does it lag like hell? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it happens. That's, that's the conundrum. Like, uh, like, oh yeah, the the last last game I really uh, tried was um, uh, Serious Sam, and I uh, I booted that up. I'm like, oh, I'm getting like two frames. <laughs> this is not good. It's like, okay, this is no problem. I I have PNG VTuber me ready, you know, just in case this happens. I I, you know, I I I I pull up the PNG VTuber me, and it's like, huh, I'm still getting like. 10 frames <laughs> okay no problem no problem i'll just lower the graphics settings down to like medium still nothing <laughs> like what okay i'll lower the resolution still nothing <laughs> i'm like okay I, I, I i'm i'm gonna upgrade my computer and then get back to this <laughs> yeah i mean to be fair some games are just uh poorly optimized <laughs> sometimes i stumble yeah. upon games that have like you know shit graphics but well, yeah, I can't stream it. <laughs> Super, you know, really badly optimized. Some some games are like that, I guess. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Oh, Everyone and you know what the shirt. worst part of like collapse are? Oh, mm -hmm. time zones. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's 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 kind of the worst. Uh, there's there's a lot of people I want to collab with, but uh, time zones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone, everyone. That, that's that's the cool part about VTuber community is that there's so many different people across the different parts of the planet. But at the same time, it makes it really difficult. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the oh, chat man. really likes your shirt. I, I agree with them. Your, your shirt's pretty cool. Yeah. It's neat. I mean, I, I, I and I just like spent five minutes on it. I'm like, hmm, what should, should I get? I don't know. Like, you know, what to put <laughs> under the coat? <laughs> Uh, uh, that, that, that's, that's, that's pretty awesome. I've, I've always wanted to have like different outfits ready because uh, I yeah, love my hoodie, yeah. but like I, I, I love outfits. <laughs> I know. But, like, getting, getting, getting the process of it getting <laughs> drawn and then rigged yeah. and then all that, uh, that's very time consuming expensive. So yeah. uh, this this sole hoodie is is now the, the only hoodie I own and I will always wear it. <laughs> Have you been wearing anything under that hoodie? <laughs> Oh, uh, that's that's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> that's a mystery. Oh, <laughs> nobody will never know. <laughs> no one will ever know. <laughs> mm, yes, it's it's lore, but it's it's, it's part it's of the lore. Important lore. <laughs> important lore. <laughs> one day, who knows? Wear anything yeah. under the hoodie? Who knows? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I do love alternate outfits though, yeah. I mean, even for me who do don't really commission models, same thing. It does take a lot, a lot of time to draw it and rig it. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it really does. So, so, so head pats to you for, for making the shirt. Yeah. Oh man. Let's see. Let's look at look. Let's look at uh chat a bit. Uh, welcome there to the stream, by the way. Has leave in. Uh, guess hey, some games are just memory hogs. Like, I actually have this weird problem where playing using my browser when I'm streaming lags, but playing some you know quote unquote gravity advanced games doesn't lag my PC for some reason. I don't know. The browsers take a lot games of time. So, yeah, games are so particular sometimes. Yeah. It's it's kind of annoying. Yeah. Where to wash that hoodie when you don't want to be a stinky fox. Hey! <laughs> I'm not stinky. I, I take care of myself very well. I, I, I shampoo, conditioner, I exfoliate. Thank you very much. <laughs> I am the best smelling fox boy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Barry said, person one can hear me, person two, no, I can't hear you. You know, that's a joke I usually do when talking with people. <laughs> you know, on Discord, on, on Discord, people usually like, you know, when people join, they usually, hey, can you hear me? I usually say like, no, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't hear you, hangs up call. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> that's a oh, paradox. Dear. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, oh man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I'm really excited if you actually do, do, do what you call and reach out to more people to hang out with and collab and stuff like that. Uh, you see, that's, yeah. the, that's the difficult part, reaching out to people. That's, yeah, that's the anxiety. social interaction. That's scary. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Socializing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there, there, there's, there's a reason why my entire lore revolves around me being in a giant dream world all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Uh, yeah. that, that social anxiety. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Fundamental part about being a VTuber. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't be a VTuber without social anxiety. Or I you know, maybe it's like a, <laughs> a correlation, I guess. 90% of oh, VTubers yeah. have social anxiety. The other 10% yeah. is lying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, Jason said you came to me for the ears. I mean, I, how did you know? Probably, yeah. <laughs> again, the comment again. I mean, hey, you can like, you can always like do the thing, you know, comment on people's videos, and hey, maybe they'll join your Discord, and then maybe suddenly there's like, you know, maybe they'll check your videos, leave a comment. Like, I mean, yeah, it's the same case with you and me, how we met, kinda. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. I just need, to, uh, just need to do that. Just need to do that a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest though, every since I saw you, I, I always wanted to like uh, hang out with you, really, because you know, you, you know, <laughs> looking at you, we look literally similar, and I'm like, hmm, yeah, that's nice. Also, you make content about dreams, and like, hmm, oh man, I miss the time where, when I used to do a lot of dreams. <laughs> like, you know, we e used to write on my dream journal, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear that 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 the MPP people like the dreams, because <laughs> uh, I, I was kind of worried. Like, are people are people actually gonna gonna care about the, the videos I make? <laughs> like the first three videos, though those those got like no views for the longest time. And then uh, yeah. I'm like, okay, I must use brain power. So uh, I I used Google Ads in order mm -hmm. to kind of uh, make uh, like you know you search for you search for a term like you search for dreams. There's a chance they might see my my video pop up. Like, hey. How you want to see a pink fox boy talk about dreams <laughs> and that's how i got my first little little little, little group of audience <laughs> yeah really clever man i i always wanted to try to like you know invest the google ads but i'm always scared you know is my content good enough will people even watch the ads like you know is it gonna be one of those annoying ads i am now <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the thing. I, I only make my ads like the ads that pop up when you do a search. Every single other ad is so annoying. And if oh. I was if I was the person experiencing the ad, like I don't want you to pause the video. I'm trying to watch to to, to stuff an ad down my throat. Like uh. no, go away with that. <laughs> don't don't make a banner ad that like pops up in the middle of the video. Don't disrupt my video experience. <laughs> uh, like if I search for a thing and you're like, hey, you like this thing, you might also like this thing. Like those yeah. are the type of ads. I'm like, yeah, I can get behind that. I'll be honest, I didn't even know that existed because I don't think they exist on uh, phone and my PC got ad block. Ad block does some blocking. Don't be a creepy dream invader and traumatize people by burning their homes. I don't invade dreams. The, the, the dreams in, in the sea of dreams are people's old dreams. So you, know, you have a dream, 
uh, you wake up, then eventually at some point in the future, it ends up here. And then, <laughs> then I explore it, and I pillage it for all its delicious, delicious loot. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Stealing from people's see. dreams, fun. <laughs> Hey, that's how I made my home. Just, you know, yeah. go, go into some dreams to grab some cool looking buildings, slap yeah. it all together, and bada bing, bada boom. Sounds good. fun, really. Be going on a scavenger hunt. Super fun. Yeah, I mean, that's how I yeah. found this computer, and that's how right. I found yeah. the internet, and that's how I came to be here. Hey, if you look at the stream, this entire room is scavenged. <laughs> because I'm broke. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> Scavenging is a lot of fun, except, yeah. except you know, if you stumble into a nightmare and don't realize it, then that can be not fun, but, <laughs> but still. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let me, let me look at chat a bit. How to make a glass of water, ingredients, water source, glass, put the glass into water, source, wait till build. I... Oh dear lord, what? <laughs> uh, no. You know, chat, my chat is weird, my chat is really weird. <laughs> You could probably tell. I mean, just, I mean, you know, weird people attract each other, so, and I'm really weird, so probably that's because, yeah, that's yeah, why. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's true then, because I'm really weird too, so. Yeah, weird people <laughs> attract each other. Aw, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, man, yeah. Very complicated recipe. Yeah. I accidentally got pregnant. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, complicated recipe. I get my dick stuck in a toaster for some reason. God damn it. <laughs> Gotta simplify the instructions. You know. Uh, mm, yeah, speaking about like, you know, earlier you mentioned nightmares. What do you think, what, what's your opinion about nightmares actually? Because I know a lot of people I met, they really don't like nightmares, but I don't know why. Maybe I'm weird or something, but I... It's not like, it's not that I like them or don't like them. I just think that they're really fascinating. Like, I like them the same way as I like dreams that are like happy and stuff like that. I don't know, I find, I find all sorts of dream fa dreams fascinating, including nightmares. And I, I always, you know... Even though I'm scared shit, listen to dream, when I wake up, I, I, I always want more. It's kind of like watching a horror movie, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of weird. I'm kind of the same way where, like, I, I, I kind of like the idea of nightmares. Uh, like, my subconscious mind, like, is crafting up this really spooky experience for me. Uh, I think because of that, and because I, I, I kind of like the idea of nightmares, I don't really get them that much. <laughs> yeah, same though, same. But, so it's like, it's, it's weird, every, every single person is like unique, it's like someone who's really scared of nightmares might experience them more, because it's always done in front of their mind, but like someone who just accepts nightmares and like, aha, I want to experience this, the mind might be like, no you're not, you're not going to experience this. <laughs> Uh, it's in the same yeah. way with uh, like like sleep paralysis demons. Uh, some people experience those, uh, but like I, I've only like ever experienced that once. Even though I'm like every time like oh, I hope I see the demon this time. <laughs> you know I want to try to, like get get a sleep paralysis demon. I think it sounds it sounds really fun. I want to get one. Oh, it's it's it's, oh, it's, a, it's a blast. I was so spooked. It was great. I never uh, got the, one, but I want one. <laughs> So the so, so, so here's here's some pro advice. Uh, the thing I was talking about earlier about like you know waking up uh, at like 3 a.m. and mm -hmm. then staying up for like 15 minutes and going back to bed. Uh, there is a lucid dream technique that basically involves you standing like you know, like laying down perfectly still with your eyes closed and like just just like be completely relaxed and just stay in that same position. Breathe slowly and deeply, and uh, eventually your body will start to go into sleep paralysis. Um, and from there. You kind of slowly start experiencing very mild hallucinations where like uh behind your closed eyes you're gonna see like some some swirling shapes uh i know that like once i get kind of deeper into it i see like uh the shapes of like like shadow people like moving around I'm like oh that's cool uh but once you get past the sleep paralysis part which is which is really really difficult because <laughs> it feels like a lead blanket is being laid across your entire body yeah you, you start to feel everything happens, you start to feel yeah, everything it, you can hear your heartbeat like, you can it's kind of like meditating mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah it just feels like a giant lead blanket getting laid over you just like crushing your chest but you just gotta keep breathing slowly and consistently uh but after that if you get through that then you start experiencing much more intense hallucinations <laughs> where like sleep paralysis demons can hop on in uh i remember the first time i did that su uh, successfully i was like oh yeah i got i got past <laughs> it this is great and then like 10 seconds later out of like the corner of my room i just hear i just hear like this <laughs> like this like whispering and i just like like just immediately like jump up like what, what the and then i realized when i jumped up uh my entire body felt lighter and i realized i like jumped up into a dream uh, and that that blew my mind <laughs> and uh 
that 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 was in the sleep paralysis demon though uh, i i there that, that that that's a whole nother story <laughs> <laughs> um Oh, what do the comments say? I mean, how many sleep paralysis demons? <laughs> the comments in the meantime are... Hmm. <laughs> I, I don't have any sleep paralysis demons in my basement, uh, no, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, hey, you're in my basement right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Am, am I a sleep paralysis demon? We'll never know. We'll never know. Yeah, maybe, maybe, like, you know, you hop from deep dream to dream. Maybe you are uh, one. <laughs> wow. Uh, dun, 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 plot twist. The... <laughs> the the sleep process demon I experienced though um like I got to that point right uh and uh at this point I've done it like three four times so you know I I heard the spooky whispering all throughout my room now uh but now I'm like huh you know spooky whispering you know whatever I I don't care <laughs> I ain't spooked by this nice try brain but you ain't spooking me and immediately after I thought that I heard these little footsteps sprint <laughs> across my room like bum 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 and I felt I felt something jump up onto my bed. I felt my bed move and shift. And then like this this little presence of a person like moved its face right next to my ear. And all that spooky distant whispering just was like immediately like front and center spooky whispering in my ear. And I immediately freaked out. I jumped up. I didn't, I didn't jump into a dream. I just woke up. <laughs> I'm like, okay, touche brain. I, I, I may have gotten a little bit cocky there. <laughs> <laughs> touche, touche. <laughs> oh man, that was, that was cool though. I want to experience something like that. I'll be honest. I always want like, like, <laughs> I I don't know. Like I, I always find I, I I always enjoy the adrenaline rush I get after I have a nightmare. You know when you jump out from bed yes. when, after a nightmare. That adrenaline is just. <clears throat> It's just, yes, I don't yes, know, yes. feels really nice. <laughs> I don't even. Yes, need, yes, I, yes. I won't need coffee for the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, I'm definitely awake now. And that's actually another part of dream that I really like. If you wake up in the middle of a dream, your mind was like already awake and alert yeah. and like processing things. So when you wake up, you're like, oh, I feel like I'm wide awake because <laughs> you were just <laughs> wide awake. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, back then, I, you know, if I if I don't go back to sleep back then, I usually like use the energy to actually like, you know, draw stuff when I'm like when I'm, you know, <laughs> When I write my dream journal, I draw a lot. <laughs> because oh, yeah, a lot, yeah. a lot I, of I things, yeah, too. a lot of things just can be explained with words, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you just it need helps. to draw it. <laughs> it helps so much compared to words, because a I can't really read half my own writing, anyways, <laughs> because it's dark and I'm like scribbling and my handwriting is horrible, anyways. Same. So uh, drawing a picture definitely helps a lot. Yeah. <laughs> No, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, hey, and Jason is right. I uh, I do follow a, uh, v a sleep paralysis VTuber, uh, Lilin. He he is adorable. Highly recommend him. Uh, go over there, give him some head pats. <laughs> hey, neat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nice. He, I, I I have him. I have him in my uh, my recommended bit in the my my VTuber wiki. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know, I should get that going for me as well. Actually, I don't really. I never actually read. I mean, wrote things for wikis, <laughs> so I don't know how that goes. I, but I, hey, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, with VTube, uh, anyone can make it at any point. Uh, the 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 more like official VTuber wiki though, uh, they they, they require uh, like 500 subscribers ah. before. Uh, or followers on any platform before you can make things there. But I, I, I like their page there because you can like add pictures and stuff. Uh, I built mine out like like a few weeks ago, and uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. <laughs> I, got, I got some reference images in there, kind of explain the lore. It's it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun. I really need to get to get to that milestone, right? Milestone, really. <laughs> yeah. Highly recommend it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm coughing a lot. I don't know why my throat is got a lot of film for some reason. I don't know why. I think I'm getting sick slowly again. <laughs> I, uh, you, I wonder you why should, though. You should hydrate. It will yeah. hydrate the throat. Yeah, I'll, I'll hydrate a bit more. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> yeah, that's the next question. Yeah, again, I'm, I there's a lot of things that I want to like talk about about dreams because I'm really into it. Like when you're dreaming. <laughs> Yeah, when, when you're dreaming, who are you? <laughs> like, you know, like, cause, cause in my dream, I'm rarely myself. <laughs> like, mm. I'm usually playing a different character or something. <laughs> usually, usually on myself, um, it's very, very rare for me to be uh, someone else, which is kind of a shame because I always liked the idea. And in dreams, I try to like, 
like make myself someone else but i mm. i've never been really able to manage it <laughs> but uh it's it, it's been on my priority list of like things to figure out because there's definitely like a lot of different techniques and ways you can accomplish certain things in dreams uh because it's all based on how you perceive and your expectations huh. like if you expect a superman pose to make you fly then the superman pose will make you fly if you just uh. expect to start floating then you will start floating it's really <laughs> all dependent on your own perspectives and what you expect to happen because it's all it's all your mind <laughs> if you expect <laughs> something to work it will work you just got to have the confidence in that you can't yeah. be like maybe this will work no like this will work <laughs> it's super random as well because you know most of my dreams aren't really lucid i rarely get lucid dreams so it's mostly random but for some reason there's a lot of mm -hmm. consistent things that happen in my dream hold on i will reach out a bit more fire away remy holding gasly can ah yes arson fun <laughs> i love arson <laughs> Wait, why am I holding gasoline can? <laughs> Who knows? Jason just said that. Uh, but yeah, How welcome. You know I was an arsonist. <laughs> yeah. Hey, a fellow arsonist, let's go! <laughs> burn, burn, oh, burn. Man, if, if there's one thing that's consistent in my streams is that I commit arson a lot and war crimes. <laughs> Oh man. Hey, yeah. That's what makes the streams fun. I know. Uh, let's look at like let's look at uh <laughs> the chat again. Like to me dual the paradox according to this paradox. Oh man, that's very oh man. There is no action because in order to for the movement to take place, a certain distance must be made in a certain time period. And a stretch. <laughs> Thank you, Jason, for redeeming. Also, like uh I think the chat commands for the redeems doesn't work for some reason. I'm not sure why, I'm sorry. You can use the website though. Uh for this, uh, for, uh, then help the reminder must be traveled. Oh dear, that's a long read. Welcome, Royan. By the way, how's your day been? Uh, but yeah, redeem doesn't work, but I guess I'll do the redeem anyways. Like, the angel does redeem stretch. Oh dear, hold on. Also, I Don't might worry, do with noise, so excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's a really good stretch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get a stretch, you know, get a, get a, do a nice stretch. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but yeah. That's, that's an advanced stretch. <laughs> advanced stretch. It's, it's, it's like, it's how experts stretch. It, it really gets your <laughs> muscles uh, limp, I guess. <laughs> that sounds really wrong, considering how the stretch sounds. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. But yeah. Advanced stretching. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a stretch. <laughs> Uh, nice. <laughs> Let's go over. What did Angel tell me? Oh dear. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no. I remember I got a weird redeem. <laughs> uh, I mean, I I think Chat is trying to trying to get the redeem now. So I'm gonna, I'm expecting it. <laughs> I mean, hey, feel free to do the redeem if you want <laughs> uh, for Chat. <laughs> I don't know if you know about the redeem though. <laughs> yeah. What a strange life I would live without headphones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually. Oh, I, that's actually have been a few instances where people, like, you know, people didn't wear headphones when I do the stretch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what, what is that moaning down the hall? Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, mom. <laughs> one time, one time, like, uh, someone who was watching me, like, left my stream open and then went to the bathroom. <laughs> as they were walking back, <laughs> As they were walking back, they just hear, hear an unholy noise come from the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too fantastic. Oh, man. Okay, a question from Royan. Uh, for you two knuckleheads. Would you like to have immortality or would you... Would, would the crippling thought of you lose everyone you love so much? Uh, to, wait, wait, hold on. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess, you know, uh, Royan asks, immortality, yes or no? <laughs> Uh, well, this question is kind of weird for me because I, 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 I'm already in a you know sea of dreams where there's there's no other people, so <laughs> I'm already alone. <laughs> uh, and and uh, immortality, I don't know. I, I my memories only go back to about a year ago, so <laughs> I don't know how long I've been around. So that that, 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 that question, I don't know how much that applies to me. <laughs> I mean, I think immortality with goldfish memory is like will be kind of fun because you can you know you can get to experience things for the first time for multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And, uh, with my memories, I mean, with, with, with you know, living in uh, you know, a sea of dreams, I can only assume that you know the, the dreaminess of it uh, messes my memories because I remember things pretty well up to a year ago. Everything before that was kind of kind of fuzzy. <laughs> yeah. 
uh, for me, um, again, it's also a hard question, but I guess I guess it depends on whether I'll be able to die. Whether I can die or not. Oh, this this they're doing the fart redeem. <laughs> I also get the redeem when I fart on command for some reason. I don't know why. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. Again, like the uh, immortality is a weird thing. Uh, like, can I still die or not? Because. I feel like if I'm actually immortal, I'm gonna get bored of life really quickly. So if I if I can still die, then maybe I'll I, I take immortality because you know when I'm when I get bored of life, I can just like you know just uh you know just oof. <laughs> but then like you know not but true, if true. but if I just can't die, I I think it's. I think it's gonna get boring, you know. After a few years, after like two thousand years, three thousand years, it's gonna start to get boring. And then when when the Earth explodes or something, and you know, I, I guess when everything g gave into entropy, and I guess I you know everything <laughs> when the universe dies, I'm just gonna be sitting there floating in, the f in void. <laughs> I when don't the think universe that's fun. dies, there remains one one pink 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 haired yeah. uh, one one pink haired boy chilling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At first, it's like, you know, at the first 2,000 years, probably kind of fun, the rest, gonna get boring. <laughs> so, I don't know. Depends on how I can, whether I can still die or not. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, let's look at chat a bit. But he said, let me tell you something funny. The word meme means boobs in Turkish. Now that I think about it, it's not that funny. I don't really know. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, but eh, weird. Fun okay, fun <laughs> I actually, I'll be honest, I forgot why I was talking about earlier before the all the questions because the commo the immortality question is oh man. But then again, you know, I got, I also have the memory of a goldfish. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know, I I remember things I shouldn't be remembering <laughs> a lot of times. Yeah, I don't know why. Memory selective like that. It's like hey, you you know this thing that you want to forget. Ah, well, you're Your not gonna forget is this. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, like I remember we, we were talking about dreams. I remember I wanted to ask something about like consistent details about dreams because I have that a lot for some reason. I don't know why. Why am I, why am I, why am I getting so many redeems today? <laughs> Jason Gunn. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, consistent details in dreams. I have this really, really consistent but weird thing that shows up in my dreams. Like, not, not really lucid dreams, like all of my, almost all of my dreams. Uh, yeah, not huh. like, you know, lucid and non-lucid dreams. When I when I run or like walk, a lot of times I tend to like you know start floating uncontrollably, and I always oh, yeah. try to like keep myself on the ground for some reason. I don't know why that happens. Do you have, have do you have things like that? You know, I think happen to you like really really suspiciously consistent details. The way I float is all almost always the same as well, you know. But I can never like you know. I always I always get caught off guard. <laughs> uh, I've experienced that. Um... I don't experience that super often in normal dreams, but in, a, in that like super dream that I mentioned earlier, uh, that's kind of how I broke out of it. Because ah. uh, I, I remembered like, oh, if I increase my heart rate, then that will break sleep paralysis, which will make me wake up. So I started just like running really fast, but like I just kind of like floated there while I was running and like the entire hallway just kind of stretched instead of me just moving forwards. <laughs> uh, so I've definitely experienced that before. I don't know why that is. I'm sure there's a good reason, but uh, my brain is kind of smooth. So <laughs> I don't Same. know anything about dreaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, now that you mentioned that, it's it's uh, kind of suspicious. Like when I, uh, every time I float kind of like that, it's always when I was, when I'm running, it starts feeling like, you know, I, I start with running normally, but then it's, it quickly turned into like, you know, in, it's kind of like how you run inside water. You can't really run properly and mm -hmm. you start to like float and stuff like that. And then it just started with me, it just continues into, to me floating up and f eventually f f falling up for some reason. <laughs> really weird. Yeah. I don't know why that is. I usually, that, that was really the only time I can remember running in a dream. Usually I kind of walked from place to place and that always seems to work well. But for some reason, running doesn't seem to uh, work as well for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> and that seems to be pretty consistent. <laughs> yeah, really weird, really weird. <laughs> You're about smooth brain animals. Oh, come on, like, it's, it's <laughs> of course we're hobos. The real estate isn't cheap, you know? <laughs> Uh, we're smooth brain hobos. Yeah, real estate is not cheap. Plus, hey, the hobo <laughs> life is the is the you know the scavenger life, I guess. That's the way to do it, uh, man. 
Let's see. Oh, okay. Why is Barry sending again? You you plights claim that no heap can be made from grains of sand because no grain of sand is a quote unquote clump. So let's say one million grains of sand form a heap. When when we wake, take this grain of sand, won't it, it won't be a heap? I have no idea. I have no idea what a heap is, Barry. But yeah, thanks for the thanks for the. the but what the hell is a heap? I don't know. <laughs> eh. uh, like 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 a, like a heap would be like uh. Like I guess a pile? Like a pile? A pile? Yeah, just, yeah. Just, 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 a, just a pile of grains? I, I guess. I, I don't really know. My brain is still, still too smooth to answer this question. Yeah. <laughs> I, when I see sand, I just see sand. I don't see anything else, okay? <laughs> uh, I am <laughs> small brain mode. <laughs> but <Please>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, speaking of like details on dreams, like one uh, other detail that I find quite interesting, I don't know why, but at least 70% of my dreams take place in a mall that I n don't recognize. Interesting. It's always different, but it's a mall. And I rarely went go to malls. <laughs> huh. I rarely um, go outside. Uh, that's interesting. I, I have not heard about that before, where you kind of have a centralized dream location. Uh, mm -hmm. well, on the bright side, though, that, that, that can be used as a good indication for lucid dreams. Yeah, actually. Because uh, when I'm in the then mall. you know, like, <laughs> hey, if I'm ever at a mall, then I know that I am dreaming. <laughs> yeah. Although, you would be surprised, because I've had dream locations like that before, and we're like, oh, I'm like, never here. Uh, I'm probably dreaming. But, like, dream me is way too dumb to realize that. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, same. I am here. Yeah, nice. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know, oh, I'm here. This is normal, even though it's a place I've never seen before. Sometimes I know I'm dreaming, but I'm like, yeah, like, I, I'm not going to go lose it. Why why should I? <laughs> sometimes it happens. I can't control myself, my dreams. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I kind of uh -huh. have this name where it's like, I guess I am kind of dreaming, but then I don't really do anything about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I just go back right to like normal dream logic. And, you know, that's, dream that's logic. <laughs> dream logic. Yeah. Things just make hmm. sense in dreams for some reason. I see people mm -hmm. I recognize, but I never seen that I, who I never seen before. People I never seen before, but for some reason I feel like they're good friends. <laughs> I feel like uh, I've that's... been with them for like years or something. I don't know, really weird. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the weird part about dream logic. It, it can just make you believe anything, yeah. which is really kind of cool. Dream also, kind of kind of scary. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that's why but, I like uh, dreams. I really like. It. I like it that way. <laughs> dreams absolutely. are fun. Super fun. <laughs> <laughs> and and with a uh, uh, with a lucid dream kind of technique, uh, usually when I lucid dream, I'm usually like, aha, I am gonna change this to be exactly what I want. Uh, though, you know, brain usually doesn't like me doing that. <laughs> uh, so I read recently, instead of doing that, you kind of become aware that you're dreaming, but you just kind of go along with whatever dream is happening. Kind of like, aha, I accept that this is a dream. And I am <laughs> a part of it. And I will continue interacting with it. And I found that that was actually uh, a lot more stable. I didn't like wake up as fast, uh, and it was it was pretty enjoyable because it's like okay, it's like this is not me making things. This mm -hmm. is like my subconscious brain making all this, which makes it even more exciting. Nice tips, nice tips. <laughs> it, it feels more like a vivid dream though now that I think about it. I mean, I mean most in my in most of my dreams. I kind of feel, I quote unquote feel like I'm conscious, I, I, because I'm not sure whether I'm conscious or not, like I, but I kind of go on autopilot, you know? <laughs> like yeah. if I feel like I'm making decisions based on my own free will, but it also kind of feels like, am I just going on autopilot? I don't know. <laughs> yes. That's kind of like the, the, the fuzzy feeling I mentioned, like yeah. you're, you're there and it's you, but it's like... Like it's it's like a fuzzy version of you, kind of. It's you, you know, but not kind of kind of living this world, <laughs> being on autopilot, doing the things that your brain is telling you. Yeah. Like, oh, you should be doing this. Like I should be doing this. It's you, but not you. But in the case of my dreams, it's like it's not even me. Like quite literally, I'm like someone else is in ninety nine percent of my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really interesting characters though, I like, I, I think I like it that way, I get to like, <laughs> play with different characters, I guess. <laughs> exactly, oh, it's it's an excellent source of like, creativity, yeah, inspiration, I know. fun, dreams are fantastic. <laughs> Man, yeah, you know, a lot of my OCs came from my dreams, started off as, my, as dreams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's that, that's the place to that's the place to get ideas. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Like Alice in Wonderland. That that entire story was formed because of dream. I know, right? <laughs> uh, let's oh, see. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man. Okay, looking at chat again. Uh, Jason said, "Been just having nightmares always." Yeah. I mean, at this point, I have become one of my nightmares. I wish I had dreams. I mean, I don't know. Like, I think like for me and Jason, like for me, I want to have more more nightmares because I like the adrenaline. I and then you know, um, dreams are. I mean, nightmares are not that common for me. Dreams are like but more common. So it's kind of like you know, when I experience one, it's kind of like finding a finding a unicorn or something. <laughs> I like it. Uh, yeah. I want to experience yeah, more. Gotta... <laughs> you just gotta change your perspective, uh, Jason. You just gotta yeah. be like, aha, I will, I will have a nightmare today. And yeah. when I'm in that nightmare, I'm gonna punch some dude in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe, maybe enjoy it. Maybe yeah, just enjoy it, you know? Yeah. You go to sleep with that thought, <laughs> yeah. you, yeah. that thought you can overcome your nightmares. <laughs> Think of it as a horror movie. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's a horror movie, but you're gonna turn it into a yeah. comedy horror you're, movie. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, I like I like being the protagonist of a horror movie. <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and you know, like because because of how oh dear, okay, yep, so, the, here comes the here comes the redeem. Wait, what should I say? Should I say the what? What should I say, Jason? Tell me what to say. I don't know. Here comes the weird redeem. I want to push some dude punch push some dude in the nose. <laughs> uh, I want to push some. <laughs> I said punch some dude in the nose, not push someone's nose. Yeah, punch. Yeah, no. <laughs> you, you just go up to an axe and be like, boop. <laughs> Gonna boop your snoot. Yeah, boop the news. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah. I mean, nowadays I just, oh. you know, like you get, get me to nightmares. Nowadays I just think of nightmares as kind of like kind of like horror movies or like horror games. And I really enjoy it. Considering nowadays, <laughs> like, there's barely any scary horror movies or games. The only instance where <laughs> I really get scared is on my dreams. And I, it feels really refreshing. I, I love it. <laughs> I, I agree. Uh, spe speaking of spooky things, uh, I, I watched uh, an anime recently. Ooh. Uh, that was like the first, like, horror anime I ever watched. What uh, is it called? Angels of Death. Uh, very good anime. Highly recommend it. It's not like scary, scary, but it's like suspenseful mystery scary. Oh, uh, suspenseful and after, mystery after, scary. Yeah, after after watching it, like I want, I want, I want to play like the little thing they have going on the piano. So I've been trying to learn that. Dang. <laughs> Sounds, sounds, sounds interesting. I like it. Like, is it is it similar to like Madoka Magica in a way? Because I really like that anime. Uh, which one? Madoka Magica. Do you know that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that one. That one's yeah. great. I know. I, I, one I of my favorites. It goes from, I love how it goes from cute kawaii to not so cute kawaii. I love that anime. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like the defying expectations and like uh, juxtapositioning where you like take one concept of like, aha, here's something yeah. really cute and adorable. And then you take a completely different concept as opposed to it, like, you know, like, like horror and spookiness and you just kind of smush the two together. And it makes just for something yeah. way more interesting. <laughs> like what what really what really sold me like sold Madoka Magica for me is that you know, it's I can't it feels realistic and I love that. <laughs> it, like That's... the take on the the take on the magical gale genre, but it's like you know realistic. It's magical gale, but in a way it's realistic and I really like it. <laughs> realistic in the way yeah. that they have real real people problems. Like if magical gales are a real thing, that's gonna be like. What happens in Madoka Magica is gonna be real, like the struggles they actually face there, and I love that. <laughs> I, I love it when anime is like grounded like that, where like they have their own set of rules and they adhere to those rules. When yeah. anime is just kind of, kind of, kind of do whatever for plot convenience, it, it it's kind of annoying. Oh, oh, but like, like the the video I'm working on right now is a review of the movie Paprika, uh, which I'm not sure if you've seen that. Uh, uh, never heard of it a, actually. <clears throat> It is a Listen movie <laughs> from 2006 about uh, a device that lets you go into people's dreams. Uh, psychologists use it to kind of like cure people's uh, like anxieties and neurosis. Uh, but like, you know, bad things happen. Someone steals the device. Then they're invading dreams, causing bad things. Uh, the, the idea of it sounded awesome. And everyone on online is like, oh, this is the dream anime that you need to watch. I'm like, OK, I'm going to watch it. And I watched it and it was assy. It was it like it was interesting, but the story was just so bad. <laughs> so I made I made it kind of memeing on it in my video a little bit. <laughs> it's like there's no there they don't it feels like there's like no groundedness in reality. It just feels like you're watching like a movie. You're you're <laughs> watching a story that's 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 floaty. It's like, why are we doing this? Oh, because the previous scene told us to do this. <laughs> like, that's, that's great. <laughs> it's very, very not interesting. 
Uh, man, yeah. And you know, I, I love uh, it when movies, like, you know, when movies get real, I guess. Movies, games, stuff like that, you know. Like, for example, again, like, <clears throat> what if the main character actually dies, like, on episode 3 or something? That'll be interesting, you know? What happens? Mm -hmm. How do they how do they actually go with that? And you know, it's it feels real. Because in real life, there's no plot convenient stuff. <laughs> exactly. And you that, don't you don't get to live just because you're the main character. <laughs> it annoys me so much, it's like, oh, we're in this dire situation. What's gonna happen? Oh, some some totally crap reason, plot convenience. Wow. It's like, okay, thanks. <laughs> I feel cheated. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know it's not exactly, like, you know, I know this is not exactly quote-unquote good and it might make people weird, but I want to see an anime where the the characters, like, the main character dies before the plot even finishes. And, you know, the the last few episodes is just gonna see the aftermath. Like, you know, for example, Hiro goes on, like, journey to, like, save their parents or something, but then they died on, along the way. <laughs> That'll be interesting, you know? That, that's, Wouldn't that technically be, like... Every yeah. easy guy ever thought. <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly, like they're they're dying before the story starts. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh man, I don't know, but you can check it out. I mean, I I watch a few isekais, but really, it's not exactly my cup of tea. I'm not exactly a big fan of it. <laughs> I I would uh, highly I recommend uh, Jobless Reincarnation. Uh, out of any anime I've seen, that one is the most grounded in reality, mm. which is weird to say because it's it's an easy guy. <laughs> the dude gets you know. It, the dude dies and gets reborn into a magical world, but like the pacing of the the, the movie or not movie the show, it, it feels like a movie. Like the intro, like it's not like a like it's not like a normal intro where it's the same thing every time. Like they play the same theme, but like story things are happening throughout that, so it feels like you just get this like continuous story that really like hmm. takes this time to like establish the rules of the world to establish the characters like i haven't finished it uh because uh, it was in the middle of airing when i watched it uh, but like it was it was shockingly good the character development the world development uh highly recommend that it has done it better than i think any other anime i've seen so far <laughs> well, interesting what is it called again i'm gonna like maybe i'll put it on like a uh, list or something uh, yeah let me like write down Jobless reincarnation. <laughs> Basically, uh, how, uh, how do you pronounce jobless? Uh, I mean, jobless? Spell, spell, I mean, spell. Uh, J O B uh, L E S S. Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna like uh, write that down. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, uh, it. it it's, it's it's an interesting story because like it's it's a dude who's like uh kind 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 of a piece of crap, <laughs> giant <laughs> giant loser kind of kind of you know kind of scummy person uh who dies uh trying you know trying to save someone trying to be a decent person and then he just gets reborn as just a newborn baby in a new world and like he isn't born with any like op power his only like power is that he is like he's got his memories so he's able to learn things faster at a younger age. Which kind of gives Me? him and kind of gives him an edge growing up. You kind of see, it's kind of see him growing up, dealing with his own anxieties from his previous life, dealing with anxieties in the new life. Uh, very interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, welcome again to the stream, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Let's read chat a bit more. Hold on, I just realized I haven't been reading chat. Let's go from up. I think I. Uh, okay, the push nose from here. Let's mm -hmm. go down from that. One day I'll go to jail for making someone have epilepsy. I don't know what uh, that said, but I don't know. <laughs> Jason said he's under the heavy effects of sleep deprivation. Aren't all of us college students under heavy effects of sleep deprivation? I don't know, probably. Yeah. What a magic from going to that. I mean, uh, you know, uh, uh, again, like, you know, with. Uh, by being grounded. In like films, animes, I don't mean like, you know, you can still have fiction and like fantasy in like a grounded setting. Mm -hmm. By grounded, I mean like, you know, they face real people problems, you know, like taxes. <laughs> I don't yeah. say like that actually, like, you know, like for example, if you're, if you're going to like, uh, it, like for example, if you're in, if you're in an adventuring party and you're going to fight the dragon, let's just like you know, a generic example, but whatever, you really don't know whether you you're gonna come up alive or not. And I like it when uh, animes, not actually, you know, like make it so that it's unpredictable whether they'll they'll actually come out alive or not. Because on most, 
uh, animes nowadays, it's like, yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely gonna be the protagonist. That's, I mean, antagonist, that's gonna be, that's just normal and stuff like that. So it's just, mm -hmm. uh, no more, like, doesn't, doesn't feel that, <laughs> you know, like, uh, mm -hmm. and yeah, you know, I guess, I guess that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go back to, like, chat again. <laughs> what, uh, where, where? Where is the half of the... Uh, three forty-seven subscribers. I uh, know that. I mean, a lot of people sub to me for like weird for my other videos. I uh, know only only a portion of uh, all of them watch my streams. I uh, know, uh, but yeah. Also, if you're asking for the half of three hundred and forty-seven, it's uh, one hundred and seventy-three point five. Uh, not for kids, but if you want your kids to watch more something more stable, Sailor Moon. I don't know. I never actually watched Sailor Moon. I also don't know what Padak is. <laughs> uh, let's see, look at it again. Jason said, I honestly prefer a story where there's no defined hero. That's interesting. Mm. Huh, for me, I don't actually like, like, you know, a single protagonist. I like, I like stories where there's like, you know, you know, the group of five, uh, five format for the protagonist. Mm. You know, you know that uh, format, yeah. you know, like, you know, the face, the lancer, the brain, the brawn, the heart. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it makes for a more interesting group yeah. dynamics. Like, I know, like both right? Can do well, but uh, they they, they kind of have their own advantages and disadvantages. I love group dynamics in like in, in like um, stories because I don't know it, it feel it makes the characters feel like you know connected to each other and you can relate with them. Yeah. I guess when it's just like when it's just a story where you follow one hero and stuff like that, it's like eh. It's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like they're like, oh, they're the best and stuff like that. They're like, they can do anything. They're the main character and stuff like that. On the group of five yeah. thingamajig, they can have like, you know, they, they rely in, on each other, but they have like interesting group dynamics. Maybe they like each other. Maybe they hate each other. Maybe they're, they're like, you know, some of one of like, you know, maybe maybe the face and the rifle it doesn't really exactly like each other and stuff like that. But both of them are, <laughs> both of them are in a relay, like, you know, wanna you know, really like the, I guess maybe the heart, maybe kind of like that, you know? Uh, yeah, they have their own strengths dynamic. and weaknesses and kind of play off each other. Yeah. Uh, instead of having one person who's really good at everything, which that makes just for really boring anime. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, like, make the characters struggle, you know? And maybe even, like, you know, in the group of five, maybe maybe they encounter something that they can, um, can finish, like, you know, do on their own. So they need to, like, find people to, like, help them and stuff like that. That, and, mm -hmm. you know, it, that... It comes with its own like uh dynamic so, for, for example how does person e a act to the new person how does person b act to the new person stuff like that it's interesting like imagine if the imagine if the uh the face and the rifle like the face likes the new guy and the, the rifle doesn't like the new guy and then they they may you know they kind of like you know when 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 face and new guy does something, rival doesn't really want to get involved because rival doesn't really like the uh, new guy. He thinks is he thinks it's bad news and stuff like that. That's an that's a really interesting dynamic. I want to see that play out <laughs> in more stories, really. Uh, oh. uh, and and sometimes they're able to do it right. Like like One Punch Man. Technically, he's he's an OP character, right? He's an OP character, but he's going with his own struggles about being bored of life. And like he's he's become the ultimate hero, and then and now what? <laughs> like that's a really creative use of like, aha, we have an OP character, but like, let's make it interesting. <laughs> and they do a really good job of making it like just not be like, oh, he comes here and he kills things, and okay, that's it. Now there, there there's there's a lot more layers of interestingness. Uh, yeah, so, uh, they, they did a good job of that. Yeah. Yeah, going to back to like group dynamics. Imagine like you know they found the BBG and then like you know the face is like you know the the face is like the kind of like the good quote unquote good lawful good guy. They're like you know oh don't kill the BBG and stuff like that. But then like the rival is like no kill the BBG. If you keep them alive, they can kill other people. Like you know BB like you know rival is like the more logical one and uh, hero is the more. Uh, Emotional one, I guess. That that'll be they'll make an interesting dynamic. Come on, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and it goes on for three more episodes with with them discussing about what to do with the BBEG in the jail. That's that'll be fun. <laughs> but yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, lo let's look at chat again. So Gun asks, "Will Han evolutionate like Jeremy? What do you mean by evolutionate? I don't know. Uh, what what uh, what is evolutionate? <laughs> I, I don't know. I have no idea. But yeah." People are using difficult words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Gun, by the way. Who's real here? I don't know who, who's real. I don't know. Both of us are fake, I guess. We're just fake anime people on screen. <laughs> are any of us really real? <laughs> yeah. Dun, dun, dun. 
<laughs> Who knows? <laughs> uh, let's see. It's to help Han take himself out of this existential nightmare. I don't know what kind of existential nightmare. Nightmare. I don't know. <laughs> no, between two. Okay, this is an interesting uh, <clears throat> question by Jason. Between the two of us, who will be the villain and who will be the hero? Or like, you know, are you the villain or the hero hero of the story? Or maybe the neutral uh, neutral party? <laughs> Yeah, I I I I I feel like neutral party makes makes most sense. Yeah, <laughs> I I don't know. It was being super strong with one way or another seems kind of boring. Yeah. Uh, making things gray and like I know, know, leaving I, things yeah. up to inter- interpretation. Like, was this good? Was this evil? I don't know. You decide. Dun dun dun. That seems a lot more interesting than being like, aha, this is good. I am doing good. Mm. Or ha ha, this is evil. I am doing evil. <laughs> it, seems, uh, it seems too. I don't know too 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 flat. I like I like a little bit of interestingness. I love stories where like who's good and who's evil depends on which side you're looking from. You know, like exactly. for example, like like I want make a, someone make a story or maybe an anime or something which got like the anime or story got like two seasons or something that follow like you know the the first one follow the quote unquote good guy and the one other one follows the quote unquote bad guy. But both of them they're not exactly good or bad. They're like neutral but like you know if you look at the story from the good guy they're the good guys if you look at the story from the bad guy they're the good guys stuff like that i want something like that to happen because <laughs> that will be interesting mm-hmm. as a like as a, an anime maybe but oh dear, the budget is gonna be bleh. <laughs> uh, it's kind of i mean kind of like uh what we were talking about earlier with like madoka magica like uh like, yeah. like that, that, that brings up interesting questions like oh hey this 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 spirit is like you know uh making girls like you know magical girls they can you know, protect the world all that great stuff but like aha and then also strips their physical bodies and just leaves them as like floating souls like is 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 that morally good is that morally <laughs> bad or they're saving the world do they want that is it's like it brings yeah. up interesting questions i know that right that's, that's what i love so much about madoka magica oh my madoka exactly. magica is a masterpiece it, it, <laughs> Yeah, and, and yeah, I like animes that like make you think like, oh, is this okay? Is this bad? Like, when yeah, yeah. when you're when you're you know the gears are turning the brain about the anime, that's when you know the anime's done a good job. If yeah. they're like, this is good, and we are doing good things. Like, there's there's not that much thought involved in processing that. Like, yeah, you're right, that is good. Oh that man, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to go, yeah. Animes that make you make you think. I love that so much. I love those so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, man, that's, that's why I recommend uh, Angels of Death. Yeah, and it kept on making me think, like, uh, and like maybe like like theor- theorize like what's going on so so often. <laughs> I know, right? Sometimes you even like you know again with Madoka Magica, watching watching Madoka Magica multiple times will never get boring. I mean, it will get boring someday, but like you know, I watch it three <laughs> times and never get bored. And there's like animes out there I that I can't even stand watching like two episodes of. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I've definitely had that happen before. Yeah. The first time first time watching Madoka Magica, I'm like, oh god, like mind blown. Second time it's like, oh, everything starts to make sense, like the plot and stuff like that. Third time watching it, it's like ah <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I don't know about the fourth time though, but yeah. <laughs> oh man. It's just like you know my my mind just blew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really well written anime. Uh, let's see. <laughs> look at like let's let's look um, at chat. Uh, very uh, yeah. I'm not gonna read that. Uh, Perfect stories with green <laughs> models as well. Very white stories and comics. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess I kind of get the appeal of like simple stories. You know, simple stories, black and white stories. I guess no. It appeals a lot more with for people who don't really like thinking that much. Because <laughs> you know. Like, <laughs> I know I, rec- uh, I I remember I recommended Madoka Magica to a friend of mine A eh, and they didn't really like it because they don't understand the story at all. <laughs> and not yeah, actually I, actually no no it's not no, it's, it's not 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 Madoka Magica it's Akira. Akira is also an amazing mm-hmm. anime actually. <laughs> but yeah, uh, not really Madoka Magica. I don't think I I I don't think I think I recommended recommended it to a friend but they never watched it. And no, but yeah. Mm. Akira Akira is also the same, but I guess we really haven't watched it, so it's alright. I I really like it because again, it's kinda of like this is the same case with Madoka Magica. The plot just make gets you thinking. And I mm-hmm. the plot is amazing. <laughs> the plot is just amazing. I'm not gonna say anything though, because it's gonna spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's, 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 Akira is something you need to watch blind. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, it's just amazing. Uh, yeah. So hey, my anime recommendation. Uh, let's see. Let's look. I, let's look at chat again. I was wondering if there is a stream where you play any scary game. 
I I mean Remy hasn't done like much streams, only two test streams. Me, I did uh I used to do a lot of horror games, but nowadays I do a lot of sandbox games because you know, arson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah scary, I, uh, scary games are fun. I I haven't played any uh ones in really recent memory. Uh I definitely definitely want to, because like being spooked in the game. That, that's a fun time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can recommend some good horror games nowadays. Though I don't really know what is like a good one. I mean, like, re- like, I don't think there's a horror game that really, really like scared me that much, except for like point and click horror games for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I get, mm-hmm. I get a weird fear towards point and click horror games. That's why, again, that's why I really like nightmares because it gets my adrenaline going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Because no games I nowadays, playing... maybe I'm just desensitized, I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah I agree. There, there, there's just already been so many things that have already been done. It's like, ah, uh, where's the original ideas? I need some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Okay, interesting question from Sagan. If it, if we fight, who will win? <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. I'll just end up giving you head pats. I, I don't Same. Think people... <laughs> yeah. like, like, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm, more, I'm more of a talker, not a fighter. Like, you know, in, in a fight, I'm the one who, like, negotiates with the other side. <laughs> uh, it goes from everything, like, from D&D to actual lore, lore-wise. <laughs> oh, man. Much agreed. <laughs> uh, I don't really talk about my lore watch. You know what? Lord teaser for all of you in chat. I actually have a bodyguard, Lord Wise, <laughs> because I just can't fight, <laughs> and I'm, I'm I'm small and stuff like that. So Lord Wise, I actually have a I have a bodyguard, and some of you yeah. may have seen my bodyguard. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna say who this though. Bodyguard. <laughs> but yeah, not gonna say who. But hey, I did drop oh, hints. Okay. Like every now and then, I drop lore hints. <laughs> I wonder if anybody like hmm. caught on. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm, I'm curious as to who this bodyguard is. Yeah, no, and say good, good head pats. Maybe, maybe they, maybe they'll show up soon. I mean, I mean, the bodyguard is usually like you know, the bodyguard head pet, head, head pet material probably will head pet you as well, unless you like you know, only would like you know, only fucks people up when when I'm in trouble. <laughs> Most of the time, they're chill. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough, uh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah, we we hang out, it hang out with other people. It's a chill, it's a chill dude. <laughs> let's see, look, let's look at chat again. Uh, horror games, free pastas, go or something that I find like a cockroach, a cockroach. I don't really know. I mean, cockroach is neutral for me. I don't, I really don't like them. I usually just spray them, but I don't think they're like, uh, what you call again, uh. Horror material. I don't. Th- yeah, again, it's really hard. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of gross. <laughs> kind of, yeah, this this is gross. They're not really scary. This is gross. <laughs> oh man. But yeah. Uh, and I don't know. Like I don't know why, but like traditional traditional horror things doesn't really scare me that much. Like when, again, like when I have nightmares, the things I'm scared of is usually a bit illogical. Like in real life, when I wake up. I'm always like, why am I scared of that thing? <laughs> mm. It's the really weird. Of, uh, yeah. The best type of horror is like psychological horror. Oh uh, yeah, like, definitely. Uh, like, like, uh, like Doki Doki Literature Club. That did a fantastic job. The movie yeah. like 1408. That's a that's a classic Stephen King movie that uh, I I absolutely love. You know about the spooky mm. hotel room that does spooky things. It's like a nice slow build of suspense. Uh, ah, ah, ooh. It like gets in your brain. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, uh, ooh, uh, question from Zagan. Uh, does Remy has Twitch? Yep. W- I, what's your I handle, do. though? Uh, um, hold on, just gonna check my own. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't remember your own just... username. <laughs> yeah. You haven't uh, streamed much, really... though, right? Yeah. Yeah, you I've, yeah. I've done two test streams. All my content's uh, really on my YouTube channel where I make the videos uh, about the cool stuff. Uh, but on yeah. Twitch, I am just Yumiko underscore Remy. Ah, you Mako underscore Remy. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and yeah, uh, again, yeah, you know, if you want to check it out, link in the description. Also, why doesn't, uh, hold on, let me try to send it on 
<laughs> Twitch, come on, work properly. Uh, there you go. Now it's ten on Twitch. But yeah, check out Remy on on Twitch and YouTube. I don't know. I don't know when. I don't know when you're gonna stream. Actually, probably something in the future. That's I don't know. When that you is, get the time, I'm guessing. Mystery. It's a mystery. Who knows? <laughs> I'm still not sure when I'm gonna start streaming, but uh, for now, I'm just focusing yeah. on making making videos because I need to. I need to get good at that. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I get take, used to I talking a way, lot. <laughs> I take I take way too long <laughs> making yeah. videos. I've been trying to figure out ways of getting faster with doing them, but uh, there's always something that gets in the way. It's like, aha, there's there's a block here. Uh, darn it. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's, it's a bit of an uphill battle. Yeah, it does take a lot of time to get used to. Your videos mm -hmm. are amazing, though. They're top quality, like beautiful ah, editing. Thank you, thank you. I don't think I can edit that good. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so I, I, I'm not surprised how that it... I'm not surprised if when you say it took a while to uh, do. Uh, yeah, it's it it, it 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 takes a lot of time to kind of like a figure out what I want to talk about. B trying to like figure out the mood and then like finding the right music for yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, oh man, finding music uh, is the hardest part. <laughs> yeah, that that's that 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 that's always what gets me. <laughs> yeah. I spend I spend like hours just looking up like different songs like does yeah. this work does this work does this work oh does this man work? <laughs> uh, but hey at least going through all those hours of music made me uh think of the uh, music to dream to idea of video uh, ah, so uh, at least all that preparation uh made me think of that video idea really neat <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay Looking, looking at chat. A little late to the, a little late to the topic, Sainsbury, but there is a game called Hotel Remorse. Never heard of that, but it sounds interesting. If you haven't played it and you play a horror game, I one day I'll recommend it. Yep, I'm putting that on my list right now. Very thank you for the suggestions. Oh yeah, by the way, anyone on chat, like, hey, if you join my Discord, there's a request section there. You can like, you know, you can drop things that you want me to do. <laughs> Let's see. What, wait, what's this? ASMR video about a very hungry. Jason, what did you, why did you, what did you suggest to me? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> uh, what is it? Hotel Remorse. Let's me just like put over there. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jason said, Remy, you like synth waves, chill waves, and vapor wave. Anything sentient sounds like 80s. So the synths. So are you an <laughs> 80s style VTuber? Say, ask Jason. Uh, that's 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 an interesting that's an interesting point. I I do like my like my vapor wavy stuff. That's why you like in my background you can see like VHS tapes like uh the like you know, VHS players and like all sorts of like you know, all their stuff. Because uh, oh, I kind of like I kind of like the theming. Uh, I I I I always liked it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm doing like kind of some VHS the VHS stuff in my my new video to kind of give it like the the old style feel. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm an 80s style VTuber though. Um. I just, I don't know, I, I like the style, but like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and I also just like, I also just like synthesizers. They're, they're a magical instrument. Like, with, 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 like, 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 a, like, a, like a cello it will always sound like a cello, but a synthesizer can sound like anything. It is, <laughs> it is a magical instrument and you can do so much with it. That's, that's why I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> music, music is Music is, is an interesting thing. Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm not actually a music person. So I can't really talk much about it, though. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I yeah, used yeah. to. I used to play the piano, but I can like quit it because you know it's it's because you know the usual Asian parents they force me to like learn an instrument, <laughs> and I'm like, uh. But I'll be I, honest. I, I want to like learn a learn a, an instrument in the future, maybe. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, that's that's kind of where I kind of where I was where. Uh, I, I kind of tried self-learning the piano uh, way back when, and that kind of just didn't didn't, didn't work. <laughs> I, I yeah. kind of tried to just skip over all the music theory yeah. stuff uh, and just like I'm just gonna learn how to play it, and that was that was a bad idea because <laughs> then I just forgot everything I learned because I stopped for a little while. I'm like, oh, I forgot everything. Uh, but now I've been taking like these uh, like little online lessons uh, from uh, this like little like little subscription service and that stuff has been just absolutely fantastic and has helped me out so much <laughs> so <laughs> i've been uh, i've been going through those lessons been learning it on my own using those using those lessons as kind of a kind of a base so i've been enjoying that a lot nice <laughs> Hey, we got a question now. Oh, I know, I know you made a video about this. Sagan asks, what's the best hugging pillow? <laughs> uh, the best hugging pillow is the Purple Pillow Harmony because uh, of the squishiness of it and how it regains its uh, shape after you squish down on it. So it kind of holds its shape no matter how much you hug it. It's fantastic. 
And the best footrest <laughs> pillow is the just the purple pillow, which is a little bit confusing. Their naming seems kind of horrible. But uh, that one is just you know, kind of a giant brick, and <laughs> which is uh, not the best for your head. But I have found it very useful for your feet. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, never really, I never really look into pillows, so that's interesting. I usually just buy whatever is on the store when I need a pillow. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, like in in my very early uh, YouTubing career, uh, after I made my introduction video, uh, I was like, okay, now what videos do I make? <laughs> and I remember I was looking at like the the store page for the purple pillow harmony, and I just remember just going through it and laughing at it so much i'm like this is <laughs> this is so over the top this is so stupid and i just remember just giggling at every single little bit of it i'm like i can make a video about this i can make a video about a pillow yeah. i will be the first youtuber to make a pointless review about a pill i will do it dang it <laughs> Uh, hey, 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 that's that's the life of a, of a content creator. Whatever you do, you're always like, hmm, can I turn this into content? Hmm. Yes, uh, that's just how it's I, like to be a content I, I, creator. I like I like the idea of I don't know, taking something incredibly stupid and like I can be the first person to do this incredibly stupid thing. <laughs> so I'm going to be a VTuber talking about pillows, even though there's even though the amount of people who are searching for that content is like almost no one <laughs> but but it, it, it was a lot of fun and a lot of really stupid <laughs> hey hey as long as you have fun and who knows maybe that could be a thing like hey there are, there's people who like review shitty games on steam so hey that <laughs> might be a thing that <laughs> it could be a thing uh, for you <laughs> true true i mean you, you see pillow you see pillow reviews uh on, on youtube and like those already get like an okay amount of views not really that much and you, you <laughs> add a pink fox boy into the mix that's probably gonna it's probably gonna, gonna dissuade people who are not in like the vtube community <laughs> Uh, so Same. there's not many, not too many people left, but the, gosh dang it, uh, I, I want to tell people about this <laughs> pillow, and, and dang it, I will. <laughs> uh, yeah, now that you mention it, it's actually like something that's, that I'm always, I'm always kind of scared of, like, you know, like having, having my model on the stream, and on the, on the thumbnail, I mean, like, on the thumbnail, and I'm like, you know, will that dissuade people who's not into the whole feature thing, and hey, even people, like, people who's not into the fanboy thing, like, what happens if they, <laughs> what happens if they go into my, um, uh, stream expecting, like, a cute cat girl or something, and when they, ah. when they come in, they're like, oh god, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, you just got you just got to embrace it, embrace it full heartedly. Be, uh, yeah. be like, aha, yes, I I am adorable. You you you, you are yeah. here to watch these adorable ears go wish 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 wish. <laughs> this is the way of the femboy. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, because there 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 there's plenty of people that love femboys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't mention that the delivery is almost like it's the same as in the stream as in the video for the pillow one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta have the, the bouncy vibes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, another person <laughs> must took you for a cat. <laughs> Sagan. No. Uh, Sagan asks. I have fluffy ears. I have fluffy yeah. ears. I have, <laughs> have foxtail. Uh, yeah. I think everyone is considered to like you know. I think I think everyone's everyone's already like what you call again. Uh, conditioned into thinking like everything with a, with ears is a cat or something. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, Sagan asks, does Remy has the same abilities as you to make sounds? By you, I mean me. Like, do you have the same ability as me to make sounds? I don't know. Can, what would you like to try? Uh, my ability to make sounds is definitely not as good as yours. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You you have some impressive abilities to make yeah. sounds. I am I am I am I am but a smooth brain yeah. little woof. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, like it's always like wait, what does what sounds does like foxes even make? Because like for me, because for me I usually you know some, sometimes randomly in my stream I usually meow randomly for some reason, like meow <laughs> <laughs> something I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I make I, I make plenty of goofy noises, uh, especially like like well, like when, when I'm when I'm alone and I like I'm, I make myself some tea or something. I just, I just like sometimes just add in little, little sound effects, like uh, like when I wait, when I turn on the the the, the lamp ne next to my bed and I had pat the little cat lamp. I go pat. <laughs> just add in little sound effects to your life. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Welcome Terrence to the stream and welcome Golden to the stream as well, by the way. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's look at chat a bit more. Yeah. And yeah, what should we call it? The sounds thing Yeah. You know, like streaming because I now because nowadays uh, when I stream I kinda do the noises spontaneously. Sometimes mm -hmm. I accidentally do it in real life. Like when I stub my toe, sometimes yeah. I like ah! 
<laughs> and it's it is not good. It is it it, it makes people question me. <laughs> it's like where did that noise come from? Uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I think it was someone in the background. Just... Oh man. Oh, it's great. It's, it's great. But it's great, but it's not great. <laughs> I, uh, I, find, uh, I find it pretty funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, same, same. But in real life, I don't think so. <laughs> it's kind of, it's, it's just like people are just gonna stare at you. Uh, the worst part is when you do it on like the bus. It happened one oh, time no. to me. I I dropped my bottle on like on on the bus and I'm like, <laughs> and like, and like, oh no, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Drops water bottle, moans. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is a s smooth brain moment. <laughs> smooth uh, brain mode, yeah. <laughs> always. <laughs> Let's look at you a bit more. The bed isn't actually a time machine that takes us forward in time for a maximum of eight to nine hours. Not that uh, you're not wrong, kinda. <laughs> Uh, no, kind no. of no, no, no. If you're having dreams, you're definitely on a time machine. You're you're just kind of just kind of somewhere else. <laughs> it's a, it, it transports you into a different dimension temporarily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, why are you bonking me the way the way? Come on. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Let's look at chat again. Yeah. So we have, another, yeah. Ah. <laughs> we have like we have we have another fanboy. Yeah, fanboy supremacy. Come on, fanboys will take over mm -hmm. the world soon. I I tell Actually. you, they will take over the world. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I really like it though. I really like how featuring has gotten in. Like you know, let a lot of people express themselves however they want. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like in real life, I can't express myself like this. <laughs> it's so much yeah. more interesting and creative, I think, compared to just like. No, 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 normal YouTubing, because yeah. like with with a with a with being a VTuber, you can you can do all sorts of creative things. You can make lore, you can make art, you can do all these crazy things. Um, that's just kind of not available to to normal YouTubers. Yeah. So I I find it awesome and lets people express themselves uh in all sorts of ways. So I I I I love VTubing the VTubing community. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I personally just got into this community because I am obsessed about anonymity. <laughs> Really obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, fair, that's fair. That's yeah. another reason why why one would like uh, V tubing. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. So good. Well, at least I'm. So good. Say Well, at least I'm up to waiting Remy's feature stream. I'm not important. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I, I am. In, I am excited for like for when you're gonna start streaming though. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what, it'll what happen at some point in the future. Like, I, I, I really want to upgrade my computer though, because, yeah. uh, like I mentioned, I'm a perfectionist. I obsess about quality, and the, 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 the feeling of playing that game and getting like two <laughs> frames per second was was a blow to my computer's ego. <laughs> I will not stand for it. <laughs> Dang. Oh man. Darren said, if that ever happens, I will be questioning my sexuality for life. You will. You will. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Wait, man. What, what, what will happen that will make him question his sexuality for life? <laughs> Probably the rise of fanboys. <laughs> ah, oh, yes. the, the fanboy <laughs> uprising. Kind of <laughs> You've seen the feature we're uprising. Now prepare for the fanboy uprising. <laughs> <laughs> we we can and will take over the world. <laughs> In the future, the fanboys will be the norm. <laughs> oh. oh, man. <laughs> Nine years ago, when I finally popped. Yeah, Barry, oh, Barry, no. uh, something similar Bye. happened to me. Like, I remember <laughs> someone shat on the principal's desk at some point. Oh, no, oh no. man, Barry, Barry. <laughs> But yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> One time, someone shat on the on someone's uh, on someone's desk. <laughs> okay, this is what my boys bring. Why, why are you Why are you booing me? I'm right. I was right. Yeah. <laughs> oh come on, oh, <laughs> stream is bullying me like always. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you're talking about the poop on the table, yeah, you won't see it coming, but yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, uh, what was I... I kind of forgot what I was talking about. Oh, man, smooth brain moment. <laughs> uh, Jason says, this is what fanboys bring. I yeah. agree. We're fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> yeah. Hey, like, mm -hmm. hey, if you ever, if you ever plan on like streaming something in the future, I really recommend streaming Yumi Nikki. Do you know what that game? Nah. 
Oh, seriously? It's a it's a it's a dream about exploring dreams. I mean, a game about exploring dreams. But, but <laughs> yeah, you should try playing that game. It's oh. it might be like you know it might be uh you might need to uh you know kind of prep though because that game does not have a single dialogue and you need to like talk <laughs> your your way through the whole stream. <laughs> <laughs> because the game, the oh game doesn't boy. have yeah. dialogue. The game doesn't have line. It's, it's purely kind of kind of like an ex game exploration game. It's a really mm. interesting game. I love it so much. One of my favorite games. <laughs> uh, there, there is, uh, gosh, what was the name of that game? Uh, uh, there, there was something similar on Steam that I played that seemed like like a very weird experimental game that kind of had the same feel to it. Ooh, what's it uh, called? But that I, that game wasn't very good. <laughs> Aww. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, I'm I'm struggling to remember the name, but believe you me, it's 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 out there. <laughs> it exists. <laughs> it's uh, out there. Just believe me. <laughs> yeah. But hey, yeah. Again, uh, I'll, yeah. I'll take a look at the game you mentioned though after your yeah. after stream. <laughs> do check it out, and hey, maybe stream it someday. Do another test stream, maybe. <laughs> it's a fun game, and you know, get used to talking to stream. <laughs> true. I will, I will put that on my list. Hey, hey, if you ever do a test stream, I, I, I join an in <laughs> if you want to hey, do like, hey, hey. at some point. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, <laughs> or you know, if you're, if you're doing you and Nikki and you're like, you know, you, you're not sure whether you'll be able to talk the whole way, I'll, I'll join in. <laughs> hey, group experience. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's free on Steam. Ooh, yeah, it's free. It's a nice. free game. The original game is the best. The remake is a bit, eh, I don't really know. I don't know how, how, how mm. we feel about it. Yeah. Mm. The ending is alright, but I think for me the best part is like the exploration part because it's just so fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the idea yeah. of exploring dreams in a game sounds pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah, I'm aware of the time zone. Oh dear. I mean, yeah. I'm guessing you're gonna stream at like... Wait, when do, when will you stream if you stream actually? Because uh... if I join in, I, I'll probably not stream. I'll probably just be a guest or something. <laughs> if it's like just a commentary um... thing. If I were to stream, it would probably be uh, usually around uh, math, probably like math. Like oh no, seven to eight hours in the future, comparatively to where we are right now. <laughs> oh, it's the, in the morning for me. Yeah, I'll, I mean, hey, I can just like wake up in the morning, just like what you do, did today. <laughs> it's morning for uh, you right now, right? Yay! <laughs> hey. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's morning for me too, though. I, I, I thought it was uh, later for you. No, it's, it's night for me. It's morning for you. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, oh. like, the time you mentioned, eight hours from now, it's morning for me. Oh. Yeah. Uh, right yeah, now, it's I, night I, for I, me. Some, <laughs> I sometimes uh, see, 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 you see your streams in the morning sometimes, like, oh, yeah. But then I have to, then I have to get, get on going yeah. with my day, like, oh. F. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Depresso, uh, espresso. Yeah, do this. Depresso, espresso. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it's a thing though, you know, there's a lot of people out there I wanna catch, like, you know, people I find interesting, but, oh god, they stream at ungodly hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dang you, time zones. Uh, time zones. It's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If oh, only we man. all lived on one flat planet. <laughs> oh no! Wait, so maybe, hey, uh, and, uh, what's it called again? Hey, uh, maybe flat Earth isn't such a bad thing after all. <laughs> uh, I vote to make flat Earth happen. Let's let's iron up the planet. Let's make iron up the planet. Yeah, <laughs> with the power of fanboys. Let's go. Oh god, why why am I getting that? <laughs> Was it the oh, okay, the sound of the beams. And fanboys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fanboys will flatten the world. Flat is justice, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> How appropriate that fanboys make the planet flat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, let's see. Uh. <laughs> Very sad. Try to open GTO on five. Same. Opening GTO on five on my computer just kills it. <laughs> Pure poor PC. It's doing its best, but hey. <laughs> Oh Just man! The demanding game. Yeah, the demanding games. I I don't even I I don't really play demanding games that much. But when I stumble across one, it's like oh no! <laughs> uh, it doesn't it doesn't help I, I, how I, my yeah yeah. <laughs> I feel like my computer was really decent, but now it's like starting to fall behind, and it sounds kind of depressing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, the, the the higher end games from like a few years ago, oh, that was, that was I can do, but. Uh, <laughs> Try, trying to do trying to do that and uh 
like uh trying to stream it and then also Yikes. having my model on top of that 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 my little my little poor computer can't handle that yeah huge f <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. I mean, I guess, yeah. I, nowadays, I don't really do high demanding games. Anyways, I don't really do high demanding games as my content, so it doesn't really matter that, to me that much. I don't, I don't play the latest games. I don't even have enough money to buy the latest games. <laughs> ah, yes, the college <laughs> to the experience. <laughs> Oof. Uh, big F, big F. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the God said, Han stream on the microwave while Remy is building a NASA space station to, like, to stream. <laughs> I, 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 oh, I can't man. help it, I'm a perfectionist. It's just... <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> I yeah. like making things perfect, which is really bad because I, I I can't always make everything perfect. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it's like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> For me, <laughs> oh. because I'm because I'm broke nowadays. I'm hey, maybe in the future I'll get well not broke, <laughs> but for now hey. I'll just leave like I'll I'll just stay in the broke brotherhood. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I can steal an asset computer from his dreams. <laughs> You should. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> uh, I, I wish I got like, uh, you know, maybe, who knows, maybe, maybe if I can get to NASA somehow, I'll sneak into their dumpster and see if there's any like spare yeah. computer parts. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, steal. Oh, you don't need this graphics card anymore. I'll, I'll take it off your hands. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if, if you're throwing it away, you might as well give it to me, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, same with any tech, really. Like, hey. If you're gonna throw out tech or something, just give it to me. Even though it's like old tech, yeah. I still take it. I love old tech. <laughs> exactly. Uh, man. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. <laughs> like what what you said yesterday about VHS tapes. I love retro tech. You could probably mm -hmm. tell by the by my background. <laughs> It's, oh it's, it's, man, it's old CRT monitors. <laughs> oh man, and I, I, I like never cables. thought I, I would. Mm. I never thought I would like look look back at like a like a VHS and like look at all the imperfections about it and like wow that looks really not the best but looks really cool. <laughs> I know, right? Oh man, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's you know, <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like getting a wife. You know, you love her despite all of their uh, what you call again imperfections. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Uh, but, but you know, I don't know. This, this is a certain charm to uh, old old tech and stuff like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, if I I don't really I have floppy disk, but I don't have really have like a, the reader. I should get one of those because I want to just store random pictures on floppy disks. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. Just store random pictures. <laughs> Still random pictures uh, yeah. of, of your floofy ears on floppy disks yeah. and just hide them around. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> the Mongols invented ice cream in the belt. Ah, I don't really know about that, but hey, I like ice cream, so I'm not. I'm not gonna judge. Hey, nice okay. Nice oh no, Jason said. <laughs> oh god, Jason, why did you ask that? So Remy and Han went to the wedding. God damn it! God damn it! <laughs> uh, we 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 only had pat each other, right? Yeah, no, no, yeah. No, no, no wedding, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no weddings. Just hat pads. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why did you say anything? I threw. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. Hey, like. <laughs> you threw away a 2080 Ti. Oh no, I could have oh, used no. that. <laughs> Any tech works for me. <laughs> like, hey, even, uh, even if you have one of those old CRT monitors, I'll take it. I love old tech. I like collecting old tech. <laughs> the, C oh, the, the CRT monitors, those, 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 things, those things are a trip. The, yeah. they're, they're just so weird compared to like how crisp and smooth everything yeah. is now. It's just. <laughs> It's it and, and how the how the technology works too. It's wild as well. <laughs> yeah, back in the day, I used to sleep a lot in front of my computer, which is a CRT monitor, and I love how warm it is. Uh -huh. uh, but then a few I'll years later, <laughs> a few years later, I realized that they actually use uh, radiation guns to create the pictures, and I'm like, hmm, <laughs> maybe that's why my, my brain is so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, radiation. You have smoothed out my brain. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, radiation. Uh, I don't even need to iron my brain clean. It's just, it's just uh, the radiation. <laughs> yeah, back oh, when man. green savers were a thing. Oh <laughs> man, I love the pipes. <laughs> the pipes. Oh, the pipes were one of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> I watched those for hours when I was a kid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those are fantastic. Oh, they, actually, they actually saved your screen because you know it prevented the burning of yeah. the, the the images. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, miss, I miss those times. 
<laughs> I miss screensavers. Uh, I really want to mm-hmm. watch. I want to. I want to see if I can get those pipes and on Windows 10 or something. <laughs> I'm sure you can manage that. Yeah. <laughs> somehow, somehow. If not, then probably mm-hmm. install a program or something. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's see what Burry is saying. A multimillionaire came and gave you $90 million because he was bored. Or a euro, which Burry can see you want to know. What will be the first thing you will do? Huh, interesting question, actually. Yeah. Mm. What would you do if you got, like, $90 million or something? Uh, well, I live in... I um, you know, see your dreams, but I kind of can't do anything with it. <laughs> yeah. fair, There's fair. no one to give the money to. <laughs> fair. I can I can make a cool pillow for out of all those all those monies. Yeah, I'll probably just retire. <laughs> first I mean, I'll thing probably go is, is a, is a, first yeah. buy is a meaty PC. <laughs> ah, yes, definitely. Actually, yeah, a really beefy PC. Mm, yes. Oh, you know what? Like, yeah. like, you know, buy something from from NASA or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If <laughs> I was nice. able to buy things, uh what, 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 what would I buy? Uh, uh, it, w- it would have to be something giant, cool, and pointless. Um, <laughs> uh, a bounce house. I gotta, uh, I, gotta, I, I don't know. Um, a bathroom, it's uh, a gun. <laughs> <laughs> buy a bathroom. You know, I, I wanna, I wanna, one. I wanna like commission someone to carve a statue of me, <laughs> like my model. <laughs> Just make a real life, real life statue. I, 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 would, yeah. agree with that. I would, I would get a real life statue too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Stand, shoot. Oh shoot. man, statue. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or who knows? Maybe buy Disneyland. That sounds fun. <laughs> who uh, knows what I can like do there? That's, that's, that, sound, that sounds like a business to manage. No thanks. <laughs> nah, it's not a business. I'm just gonna have it all for myself. <laughs> <laughs> it says here, I, 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 I will buy a pass that allows me to kick everyone out and allows me to be in their alone. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, I'm gonna buy a Disneyland and turn it into an abandoned Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> Spooky abandoned theme yeah. park. That sounds awesome. <laughs> uh, who knows? Like you know, maybe like you know, hmm. What's what's something stupid? Hmm. Like maybe buy Twitter and delete it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not Twitter. <laughs> Uh, oh. Hey, maybe that's what Elon is planning to do with Twitter. Who knows? <laughs> that was this plan all along. It was it's the master plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear lord! But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Okay, look at chat again. Uh, buy Twitter and delete it. Yeah, exactly. Look at chat again. Like uh, Jason mentioned the waiting thing magic. Now I'm kind of curious. Like, what's your ideal like partner actually? Just curious. Mm. Hmm, that's a hard one. <laughs> I know it's uh, also super hard for me, really. <laughs> uh, 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 I, 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 I don't know. I can only give generic answers. Uh, someone, someone who's who's nice, someone who's cool. Yeah. Uh, someone who shares my passions but is different enough to not be just like me. I guess. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's a really hard question. Like so when mm. if you meet, meet meet someone, usually it just clicks randomly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. You usually, you know, like, oh, this person, I can vibe with this person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, like, I mean, for me, because I, for me, it's also hard because I'm not exactly like planning to start a family anytime soon, if ever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My I mean, bucket list is too I'm, big. <laughs> yeah, uh, my, 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 I'm not exactly looking for another person, so it's not been on the yeah, front of my mind. <laughs> exactly. So it's like, uh, I'm like, uh, I don't know. So, uh, I'll, Cool, 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 cool person? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, like, you know, there's a lot of things in my bucket list, but starting a family isn't one of them. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a bucket list? <laughs> uh, I do not have a bucket list. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm just kind of choo choo chewing along. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, though. <laughs> Uh, again, like, you know, again, going with the $90 million question, I'll probably use it to, like, you know, finish my bucket list. Like, for example, bucket list, I, w- I really want to go stargazing, visit a lot of places. I also want to, like, build 
built a room just f- completely filled with retro tech. <laughs> mm-hmm. I need that. Just a fully, uh, uh, just like you know, the room in my background. I'm gonna build that in the future, <laughs> complete with like you know the mm-hmm. the the you know the classic phone. You know the one with really turn the dial. Oh man, I love those. I miss phones with bells inside of them. Like you can like one thing that I love about like uh, phones that have the dial thing magic. Like is that when people smack the phone, you can hear the bell before the phone cuts out. <laughs> Uh, when you really make someone angry on phone, oh man, I miss those. <laughs> uh, if I if I had that much money, I I, I I maybe I would make like some some giant building that like is like 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 it, every room is like a like a different dream. Uh, so many people can like walk through it and like experience like different dream things, except like in real life. Just build that, a dream museum. Cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just just like a like a giant art installation of like weird trippy dream things. That would be pretty awesome. That would be awesome. I it, it's something that I would want to go to really, <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. because I love I love trippy things like that. I love trippy. Uh, and again, that's why I love dreams. It's trippy. <laughs> uh, exactly. You never know what to I, expect. I feel like a lot of people, a lot of people love it, but the amount of time, effort, and money that would have to go into that, <laughs> it would be a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can get a lot of money for that. <laughs> but hey, I mean, hey, ninety million though. That's quite a bit. Quite quite a lot. True, true. It's a you, know, you can make some crazy stuff that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I wonder how much you can buy with 90 million though. How much is like, you know, what's what thing is uh, will, you know, will be too expensive for 90 million to buy? I don't know. Like um, probably I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's a weird question. Uh, eh. <laughs> and, uh, oh, I, I know. It, it would be how, how much? How much money? How much money do we get? Ninety million. Ninety million. Uh, how much is ninety million? We need to put that in perspective or something. I don't know. If, <laughs> if, what would be too much? Would be trying to buy ninety million and one Snickers bars. That would be that yeah. would be too much. Cause, <laughs> cause you know, cause it's not even a billion, and there's billionaires out there. So there must be something you can't buy with a mi- just ninety million. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, what? let's see. Oh dear, why is the ch- why is chat talking about like fox x cat stuff? Oh dear, <laughs> and then we have fox cat hybrids. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, it's gonna, is it, I, I I hope it won't turn into like a fan ship or something. Oh no. <laughs> just, just Will be interesting. Of our, of also, us. but oh dear. <laughs> interesting, Man, uh, but oh dear. Of us just head patting each other. That'd yeah, be just head pat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there's if there's gonna be like a doji with both of us, it's probably just gonna be head pats from for like for everything. <laughs> <laughs> unprotected head like, unprotected head pads. Like you know, I'm, it's like we're gonna head pad each other, but the head pads are censored. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, head. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be beautiful. But yeah, <laughs> but yes, what does NFT mean? And it's like uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> Nice fanboy, are... yeah. nice fanboy ties, yeah. Nice fanboy ties. Nice fanboy ties. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're 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 very they're a very hot take right now. Uh, everyone loves uh, nice fanboy yeah. ties. As Is it knows. that they love them uh, or hate them? <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. It's it polarizes people because hey, it's fanboy mm-hmm. ties. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see this. And then, yeah. Uh, oh no, Jason's shipping. Oh no, the hand is setting house as well. <laughs> on fire while Remy comes along with, and helps for petrol on the houses. For petrol on the houses. <laughs> with the power of teamwork, we can commit yeah. arson. Yeah, teamwork, yay. <laughs> oh man, arson is fun with friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Arson is always fun with more friends. Yeah, the more the merrier, they say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> Uh, Sakan is like Sakan said, I don't hate or not love, but I don't mind you if you if mind if you love each other. Oh god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh that's adorable. Yeah. <laughs> you know if the this chat. if the stream actually take I mean if the ship actually takes off, I may might actually draw the thing, you know, us head pet head petting each other. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that will be interesting. <laughs> The chat, the the chat ships us. It's adorable. Oh dear, it's adorable, but also, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, I guess it's is always fun with friends. Yeah, person is always fun with friends. Everything is more fun with friends. The more the merrier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but it's unnecessary. But you can make a video intro 
reduction of PewDiePie, but you know, in your own way. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know what you meant by that. Like an introduction video? Hmm. Oh, I know. I made an introduction video a while ago, but oh no, looking back, it's like so cringe because you know, <laughs> <laughs> my mic was a can. I can't speak straight because I was like still nervous back when I just started. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I have the same feeling when I look back at my first video compared to like my newest one. Like, like the, the, the colors are all off. Uh, uh, I had, why like, did you do I that? Had a very bare, <laughs> yeah. I had a very bare bones yeah. basic script. Yeah. I was just kind of, kind of, kind of winging it, and you can tell because I'm like, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh yeah. I think but that's hey, a we, good we, thing we, though. I think like you know, cringing on your old fits is a good thing because you know it, it's a sign that you improve. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Looking at your oldest content versus oh, your newest no. content is just always is always a great great comparison. Yeah. But yeah, oh no, I, w- I wish nobody looks at my first few videos. Oh no, back then I didn't even know how to make thumbnails. <laughs> at least you know how to make thumbnails look good. Back then I don't know how to make thumbnails look good. You know, make thumbnails that make people click. <laughs> uh, thumbnails are really yeah. difficult. <laughs> it takes a lot it's, it's of been practice. A <laughs> yeah, back then my thumbnails are so bad. Nowadays I guess it's like you know at least a bit better. Uh, mm-hmm. Actually, yeah, it's it's a lot better than back then compared to like when it just started. But I still see a lot of room for improvements. <laughs> yeah, uh, from from what I've learned, like uh, you, you need your face in there somehow. Uh, <laughs> you you want some some yeah. text explaining some things, and yeah, uh, you, yeah, you need oh, some interesting colors to make everything pop a little bit. Yeah, you need and, to stand out. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. You wanna you wanna make sure that you're taking up as much space as possible mm-hmm. in the thumbnail because like in my most recent one with my uh, how to dream well second most recent one how to dream video like the thumbnail for that one like I don't like it as much because like there's just a lot of like empty space above mm. the, the, mm-hmm. the text of how to dream and that uh, bothered me but I couldn't orient it in any better way. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it's also hard to come up with the ideas. I know a lot of people mm-hmm. usually say, you know, come up with the title and thumbnail before you even make the video. That I know some people even say that. Yeah, that helps a lot, but uh, sometimes that that doesn't happen. Yeah. With, with, with yeah. my bigger videos, like my, my my dream tutorial ones, I try to commission artists to make some 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 custom art specifically for that video. Uh, but even then, like, how, what what background do you use? What what foreground do you use? What the font they use. Mm. There's still so many other things. <laughs> oh man, yeah, mm. it's, it's super hard. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. And it's like you know, it's just like you know, aesthetically, it should be aesthetically pleasing and functional as a thumbnail. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Dear Lord, okay, yeah. How much? Okay, Jason asks, how many of you in the audience? Okay, every uh, question to the audience, I guess. How much would commit tax fraud? <laughs> 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 uh, thanks for the fun. Remy, yay. <laughs> hey, yay. Uh, I should do a how to on world. how to. Yeah. Yeah. No if taxes you live in the in dream world. Dreams, the government can't catch you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, there, are, there, are there even taxes in the dream world? <laughs> Uh, of course not. I'm the only, I'm the only one here, so the, the only taxes I pay myself is the, the head pat tax. <laughs> I have to head pat myself every morning. Yeah, I guess the only exception is when you stumble upon someone's dream and they're dreaming about evading tax or something, or taxes. <laughs> dreaming about doing taxes, oh no. <laughs> That's one dream uh, I don't want to get. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, with the, the reference he's making, I, I made a little little, little meme uh, on Twitter where it's like, you know, do the heart to head pat me, do a republish to rub my chin, comment if you would like to commit tax fraud. <laughs> <laughs> tax fraud, fun. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I, I, that I was too proud of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. IRS hates him. See how he avoids taxes one simple trick. <laughs> one simple trick, don't pay them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> taxes, I tell you. Taxes. <laughs> it's a taxes. Uh, yeah. Oh man. Tax. Where where are we at? <laughs> Taxes. Where are we yeah. At? Where where are we at? I, know, I can't remember. We you know this, these streams usually jump from topic to topic like crazy. <laughs> uh, oh, that's man. how you do it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's nice. <laughs> I also I also suggest. Oh yeah, we we have been going for two hours actually. Should we should we extend this or not? Like you know usually it goes for two hours, but hmm, maybe I'll extend it. Maybe I'll not. How about you? 
I'll be down to go, uh, let's say, like, uh, 15, 20 minutes more. Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, let's look at that again. Right. What what have, what have did we talk about earlier, actually? Huh? Oh, no, uh, the, not, the, not the shipping thing with you again. <laughs> 90 <laughs> million. <laughs> yeah, I know we talked about it. Talk a lot about dreams earlier, but I can't. I, I'll be honest, I can't remember what we talk about. <laughs> Apart uh, from that, it's about dreams. <laughs> we, we, we touched on a little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah, goldfish moment right here. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, yeah, going back to dreams, uh, I can't remember. Like earlier, you mentioned that most of the time you're like yourself. Have you ever mm -hmm. had an instance where you actually dream as someone else? I don't know. I, don't, uh, I yeah, hope I didn't ask that before. <laughs> it's it's pretty rare. I've only mm -hmm. had it happen like two times. Uh, I don't specifically remember who I was. I just remember being someone different for for a second. I'm like, oh, I'm someone different, and I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who like who though? Who though? Uh, I don't I don't remember. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for me it's really weird. Like uh, to name a few. Let's see. Um, I, if I the ones that I remember on the top of my head. I've dreamed that I'm like a different person, kind of normal. I also dream that I'm a gelatinous cube. That's not <laughs> normal. I dream that I'm a rock in a garden. That's not normal. <laughs> I've, I've never been inanimate objects in a dream. I, I talked about it in my dreamscapes video because you know it, it's it's something that's reported to happen. But I've never I've never been an object. That sounds really cool. Man, it feels weird. Trust me. <laughs> I I've dreamt being someone's. Like dream that I'm in something. I don't know what I am, but I'm haunting someone. Kind of like it's not like you know, kind of watching someone in third person, but I'm not that person. And I move from person mm. to person. Uh, yeah, I've had that happen before. <laughs> I've had that happen before. We're yeah. kind, of, kind of switching perspectives throughout the dream from one person <laughs> to another. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I mentioned in my dreamscapes video, but I, uh, there when you experience things in the fourth person, we're experiencing. Uh, several different perspectives ah, at yeah, once. Yeah. Uh, I've had that happen once before, and that was that was weird. That was a trip. Yeah, that's a like, trip. Because <laughs> like we have we have a basis and understanding for like what is third person, what is being an animate object. <laughs> like we can we can kind of imagine that pretty easily. But when it comes to, like oh you're several different things at the same time, it's like how do you how do you even imagine that? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But dreams, dreams just break logic. You can't take logic into your into your, your dreams. When you go, mm -hmm. get to the dream world, you just throw all logic out the window. And I love exactly. that. I love that. <laughs> uh, the, the fact yeah. that it, you can experience things that you like never even could have conceived of of what like that 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 blows my mind to death. Yeah, I know, right? It's it's experiencing things you can't experience in real life, and I love it. Mm -hmm. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, also, one 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 last one I want to say is that I dreamt once that I'm a giant obelisk in purple space for some reason. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Really weird. I don't an know. Obelisk in space. That sounds kind of awesome. Sounds awesome. But like you know, I I can't really do anything. I just watch people like from like the top, kind of like you know, kind of like a giant watching people. But I'm not. I'm just a black, tall, stone bar or something. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it, sounds like a, it sounds like a peaceful existence. Yeah. Like, uh -huh, it is I a am, peaceful existence. I am, this, I am this rock and I am observing the universe. Yeah. Wow. I like being rocks. I think it's a bit <laughs> concerning how much I dream as being being a rock. <laughs> I, I, I find the I find the the cube cube thing the most amusing. It's like 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 Minecraft slime cube. Like boop, boop, yeah boop, yeah boop, that boop, exactly. But not not as, not exactly like you know. I don't really jump, but more like slide everywhere. And I get tentacles. <laughs> not like tentacles, you know. Like the slime can like you know go out and like do something. You know, I'll tell you the story actually. I think I told, told this story in a previous stream as well. But why not? I'll tell you the story as well. So the dream starts off with me being like in a in some kind of a dormitory. The dormitory mm -hmm. goes out into a mall for some reason. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know why. It's again the mall is really weird. Why do I dream in malls uh -huh. so much? It's kinda like, not actually the main part of the mall. Like, you know how in the malls you usually have, you have one of those uh uh alleys that go into the inside of the mall. The you know, the alleys uh -huh, that doesn't yeah. got no windows and stuff like that. Kinda creepy. It, it, go into the alley, go make a turn, and then there's where the dormitory is. There's just doors in, right there. I was uh, uh, -huh. uh let me hydrate first, yeah. Uh let me hydrate. <laughs> I was in one of those uh, dormitory thing magic. The dormitory isn't even like normal. Like it's it's a big it's a big room. Like not, like you know dormitories are usually small. It's at least 
uh, how big is that actually? I don't know. I really know how. I don't know really how, how to big this. You can. Uh, I think you can fit like one and a half car in there, or maybe two, or maybe mm. actually maybe even four cars. I don't know. And I'm the huge <laughs> Gelanus cube. Like um, at least ten foot by ten foot big. <laughs> really big. Big Gelanus cube. cube. Big cube. Big cube. Big I can't cube. actually remember my color. I know I wrote it down, but I don't know. I think it's blue or. Blue or transparent, can't really remember. But yeah, the dorm also, the dormitory also has like a big window for some reason. I don't know why. It's kind of like those windows on the hospitals where you that that's used to look at babies, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like well, just inside. In the other rooms, there's beds, but in my room, there's not a bed. And I was, that's my, I know that that's, that's my dorm room. And, but for some reason, there's this one girl who keeps on, like, shooing me out of the room. It's my <laughs> room, goddammit. <laughs> I am the slime, this is my room, you leave. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> it's my room. <laughs> yeah. It's minding your own business in your room and some some giant gelatinous cube comes over it's like this is my room now <laughs> so go, go away. this is my room now <laughs> yeah and yeah I, I, that's pretty much how the dream goes i think there's like more details but i'm gonna need to open up my dream journal if i want to like uh check it out maybe i should should i Maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. I'll, 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 I actually, you know, when I when I write dreams, I usually like, you know, uh, when I wake up, I immediately note them down, and then after that, uh, when I'm done noting them down, I usually just note the points because you know my handwriting is shit, <laughs> and and then <laughs> after that, I transfer it to digital, so I get like, you know, I, I can keep track of it. I get backups mm. because I love it so much. Currently, it's already on. Mm -hmm. Hold on, wait, let me let, let let's let it load. It loads super slowly because it it got like, uh, it's it's. It's practically a no novel at this point. It got 92 pages. So oh dear. Oh wow. It's a novel at this point. Okay, let me hit control F. Uh, uh, if I could gelatinous cube. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, here's like the the full dream. It happened on the whoopsies. I accidentally closed it. Control F. Come on. Control. Oops. It's kind of hard. Control F. Mm. Let's put it over here. So then let's cube. Okay, this dream happened on the 12th of March, 2020. Oh man. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I remember being in, a, in some kind of a do in a dormitory, some kind of a dormitory. There was someone hugging, I think it was a girl, but I'm not sure. Uh, someone hugging a, a robot slash android, and I'm just sitting there be as a blue gelatinous cube. Yep, I'm, I'm blue. I'm a blue gelatinous <laughs> cube. Uh, the person was talking in Fien style with an anime sprite. Interesting. Uh, maybe, hmm. uh, yeah. maybe I draw them if I remember. Oh yeah, I didn't draw it because I didn't remember. Uh, <laughs> yeah, interesting. I can't remember what the person was saying, but they jumped into me. Okay, that's different from what I remember. Okay, <laughs> it's been a while. It's been from, it's from 2020. <laughs> After quite a while, co in in parentheses dream time of uh of the person poking me <laughs> oh dear <laughs> and me got getting hungry in the process <laughs> oh dear oh god they, where they, is this they, going they, they poked you and then you bored them i see yeah. <laughs> and then like you know after the, they go on a walk around the dormitory and then let's see i and then I grew two gelatinous dragon heads. One blue and one green. Mm. What? And then the sequence repeated. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know, this is all my dreams. <laughs> and then it's like, you know, there's, there's other parts which is, you know, you know how in dreams usually som sometimes you like, you know, you have a dream and then you like just switch to a complete, completely different dream. Yeah, that happened. But yeah. Oh yeah. It's unrelated, so I don't think I'm gonna read it because it's gonna take a bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. I I, I like the transitions between uh, the different dreams, uh, like with lucid dreaming, especially uh, like when you kind of when the drink kind of starts getting shaky because you're, you're getting a bit too excited. The dream is being less stable. You kind of feel like you're waking up. Uh, one of the first one of the things to go is like your vision. Uh, it kind of starts to get all black and blurry. Uh, ah. And usually usually I, I, I you know panic and I wake up. Uh, <laughs> but I found recently like the best way to get around that is to just embrace the darkness and to like just fall backwards uh no matter where you are and you just like fall backwards into this black inky abyss and like the dream just kind of reforms and you just kind of wake up in a new dream and uh -huh. that is that's a really weird experience because like when you fall back into the abyss of darkness you just kind of lose feeling of your body so like 
you're no longer a body you're just like <laughs> this conscious void like like this, this this consciousness in like this inky void and then suddenly you're back in a dream like oh hello <laughs> me interesting it's really cool i never had an experience like that i'll be honest like for me it's usually just a seamless transition just like it's just so sudden i didn't even like i don't even realize it's ha happened it's a mm -hmm. lot of times i don't know it's really weird <laughs> Yeah, so uh, but then again, it's dreams. Dream. <laughs> uh, if don't, you're having a lucid yeah. dream and you want to keep it going, uh, pro tips for ah, you. <laughs> yeah. Dude, mm -hmm. I want, I want, I should try to get more lucid dreams, really. Like, you know, practice a bit more. Uh, mm -hmm. Nowadays, I don't have a dream getting practice, you know. We know, with streaming, There's... I don't really sleep. Uh, at at normal times, you know, I usually, I usually end stream at like 10, 10 p.m. And then after that, I usually go on for until... Sometimes 12, sometimes 1, sometimes 2, rarely 3. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's, that's a little inconsistent, yeah. <laughs> yeah, really inconsistent. Uh, that's why I'm, like, I've am like i been struggling with like getting dreams. Like, you know, nowadays I don't really re write on my dream journal that much, which sucks. I like writing mm. on my dream journal. <laughs> that's uh, fair, that's fair. Uh, yeah. But yeah, with... With lucid dreaming, it, it's it's there's there's so many different techniques and so many pitfalls. Yeah. Uh, like I remember when I first tried getting into it, like I could not do it for the longest time. Yeah. Because <laughs> there are just so many. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So many easy things just kind of screw up and just not like just yeah. just not have any answers to. Uh, but thankfully, there's there's a lot more resources on the internet now <laughs> yeah, compared to uh, right. where it was when I first started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's look at uh, let's look at chat a bit. Oh god, yeah, you are on several <laughs> layers of, of irony talking to Jason, which who sleeps at eight six a.m. God damn it, <laughs> yeah, god damn it. I don't think you even like. I don't think you would even get dreams if you like uh sleep on six a.m. and like you know sleep for like three hours. I think it's just like you know, just you know you don't yeah, yeah. your brain doesn't have enough time to go into a REM sleep i don't think so at yeah, least you, you you have you have very brief little bits of REM sleep cuz it gets longer the longer into the night you get so if you're only getting yeah. 3 hours of sleep you're not really going to get much much sleep yeah. streams <laughs> whether it affects nightmares or not i don't know i really don't know it's hmm. i guess it's different it's, it differs from people to people i have a lot of friends mm -hmm. who say to me that when they when they're sick, they tend to get a lot more nightmares. And then I also have friends who say when they get a nightmare, they usually wake up sick. So really weird. <laughs> Me Paper personally, uh, it's uh, random. It's never like never consistent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are, those are fever dreams. Like where when you're sick, uh, huh. you have a higher likelihood chance of getting nightmares. And sometimes those nightmares can be like uh, way, way, way intense. Interesting. Uh, I haven't had too many. I've had too many of those, but I've read about fever dreams, and huh. I find them very interesting. Yeah. Uh, and I, I was thinking about naming that as the video title for that Paprika review, because that movie is that movie is a fever dream. <laughs> There's so so many weird things in that movie. Like uh, it's 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 not a it's not a good movie, but it's a very interesting movie, and I I still would recommend it if like. You used to want to see some weird, weird stuff happen. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I'm that's, curious now. Uh, that, He's, 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 uh, the mm. the full review basically the video ends kind of like that where uh you if you, if you want to see some weird stuff go ahead and watch the movie if you want to watch a good movie don't watch this movie <laughs> <laughs> is this a weird movie i'm curious oh, though <laughs> very very weird movie uh, yeah. uh, in my introduction i i i mentioned that there there's there's a uh, there, 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 there's a lot. There's a lot of weird things. I, I won't spoil it. This is, no, you, you, just, you just have to wait a little bit. Maybe I'll, I'll put that video up by, by sometime next week. Maybe I'll put that in my movie night watch list or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds fun. I, Maybe. I recommend it. it do you <laughs> seem to like dreams? I, I think you would uh, find the movie interesting. <laughs> yeah, this is really weird stuff. I find those fascinating. I wonder if uh, the others will find it fascinating though. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, it's same oh. with like same with those like you know really weird games like for example LSD Dream Simulator or like yeah again Yumeniki. Do you know LSD Dream Simulator? Ah, oh, that does not sound familiar. Uh, it's a it's a really old PS one game, but it's it's trippy. Let's just mm. say it's trippy. It's also kind of like a dream exploration game, but it makes zero sense. <laughs> I love it, <laughs> just like dreams. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Some people love it. Some people hate it. It's like you know, it's either yeah. you love it or you hate it. <laughs> Because, you know, it depends yeah. from people to people. <laughs> yeah. That's usually how it is. With, yeah. with, like, dream experience games, uh, I feel like 
uh, there's definitely gonna be some people that are gonna find it really cool and other people that are like this is this is dumb this is boring <laughs> yeah <laughs> i get why people think it's boring sometimes it just doesn't make sense you don't have something you want to do or like something you can do and stuff like that you know <laughs> but for me i just i just find it fascinating i, I like just you know sightseeing and uh walking around in like really weird places <laughs> all right let's see if dreams tonight is an amazing game <laughs> uh, yeah. I can't wait to see what kind of experiences uh, they're going to make for like VR. That's going to be in like the, oh. the, the same style and stuff. <laughs> no, that's going to be, that's going to be some cool stuff. That <laughs> needs to be a thing, actually. I don't know if that's a thing, but that needs to be a thing. <laughs> uh. Probably something out there, but like uh, one, one of the things I'm excited for is seeing how VR technology develops. Because like seeing how far it's come in like the last five years is kind of insane. Uh, yeah. And just thinking about where it's going to be in five <laughs> more years absolutely blows my mind so yeah. i'm super duper excited for that <laughs> what i'm really waiting for is though you know for the prices mm -hmm. to go down <laughs> yeah they've definitely gone down a lot since the very very beginning yeah. but it's still uh it's still, still a little, little rough <laughs> why am i why did i get that saura deem oh no <laughs> but yeah <laughs> no, <Liberty. man. laughs> yeah talking about you know talking about advances in fear i mean i guess there's gonna be you know you know, those things. <laughs> uh, if you know that, that theme. Oh, what? Mm. <laughs> I, I didn't hear you. <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, yeah. Someone, someone, on my, some, someone redeem, I mean, Jason redeemed the Pornhub theme on my sound effect on my stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Speaking of advancements in virtual reality technology, there's gonna be a lot of porn. <laughs> oh, absolutely. There is gonna be a lot of it. So, so much. Oh man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it, it definitely seems to be a more of a more of a mainstream thing now since Steam has made it uh, okay on their platform to publish yeah. those kind of games. So <laughs> more people are like, hey. I can make a lot of money doing this. It's yeah. Just... <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, Porn in VR? That's an art tech market right there. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah. It goes back to the what people usually say, you know, you know that there's the saying that goes, if you do art commissions, you're gonna get money. But if you do NSFW art commissions, you're gonna get double, even triple the money. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> people people will pay a whole lot for those those kind of commissions. <laughs> I know, right? Oh man, I tell you, the furry porn industry is a gold mine. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so you see the memes like, ah, I am a struggling artist. I make I make I make this much money doing my commissions. Maybe I'll try drawing furry porn, and then they do it. It's like, ah, I'm a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you oh. know, part of it is because you're selling your soul, but hey, <laughs> you're selling your soul and sanity, but hey, at least it's good money. <laughs> but hey, money's <laughs> money. There's, you can never like sell, the, like, you know, there's people selling organs out there. What's, what's, it can be worse than selling your uh, sanity, right? <laughs> It's like, well, why, why, why are you in jail? Oh, I sold some organs. Oh, why are you in here? I sold for a porn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Oh man. And people are just scared of you. Uh, it's kind of like that one meme. <laughs> it's like, oh man, I don't want to mess with that guy. <laughs> yeah, don't want to mess with that guy. Oh dear, he makes very porn. <laughs> Who knows what can he do? <laughs> Oh man, he's gonna, he's gonna turn you into a persona. <laughs> he's gonna make you a persona. <laughs> Don't mess oh, with him, no. he'll turn you into a persona, man. <laughs> oh. oh man, yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, but again, yeah, there's there's a lot of VR games out there that I want to try. But you know, when I when I'm less broke, I guess <laughs> when I <laughs> when I finally get a stable job and out of out from uh, college, <laughs> you know, we have some money to spare. Are, <laughs> things are only getting cheaper and cheaper, and newer yeah. headsets are gonna have just more and more features. Uh, so it's gonna be really exciting to see just like more people. Just on the planet just have vr uh when it's like super duper common and just everyone has it yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be incredible i wish it's gonna be like commonplace like you know back in the day only like only a tiny bit of no only a small minority have computers mm -hmm. now now you know nowadays only a small minority have vr but i hope in the future we're gonna like you know everyone's gonna have vr <laughs> oh in, in 10 yeah. years everyone everyone's gonna have a vr headset yeah in it's gonna be like the new computer um, computer Exactly. Computers used yeah. to be like a super niche thing, 
where it's like oh this is only for like like yeah. work stuff and then like oh a personal computer whoa that's yeah. crazy <laughs> but now like vr is kind of taking the same route where like vr can be applied to not only like recreational things but like literally every single other field yeah like, job wise so people are gonna see it at work people are gonna see it at home it's gonna be it's gonna be the next computer <laughs> yeah I know, right? you know my, my prediction is gonna be half like you know like pcs in the future won't have even have monitors anymore this is gonna have a vr headset on it like a cpu like a, a your tower and a vr headset you just put it on it's what says your monitor you boot it up and you're, you can have all the screens screens you, you want no more setups with multiple screens you just have vr headset Unlimited screens, whatever scene scene you want, <laughs> gonna be nice. Yeah, I mean, they're they're already working on a uh, VR headset so that kind of does that, where the entire purpose of it is just to make it a mobile computer, uh, so it has like really high resolution uh, 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 screen resolution, so you can see the font super well, so you mm -hmm. can have all those monitors. Uh, that I don't remember the name of the project, but they're working on that, and that seems super exciting. Uh, so the idea of just having like your computer with you anywhere you go uh is kind of an insane idea i love it <laughs> yeah <laughs> also welcome oh, lance. Hey, lance, yay, lance yay lance yay hey, lance is here hey, hey lance hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> you're near the tail end of the stream but it's good to see that yeah. you made it <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I, I hope this is not interfering with your work though <laughs> but yeah uh, uh, no, it's not good <laughs> uh let's see oh. uh Let's see, uh, what's even people had standards? <laughs> let's see, uh, let me like, uh, look in what you called again, chat. I don't know, yeah, what's up? Uh, it's, it's all right, don't, don't worry, it, you're never late for, uh, I guess, <laughs> talk shows, <laughs> streams, I guess. But yeah, just like the stream, stream, yeah, I mean, this is normal, like in stream is normal, it's like there's a quite, there's a little delay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh man, how, how, how's your day, man? I mean, like, you're talking to chat. <laughs> but yeah, we are talking earlier about, oh yeah, VR. VR headsets, man. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Can't, wait for, can't wait for VR technology to, like, blow up. <laughs> oh um, yeah, it's, it's, it's already blowing up. Like, all, all the yeah. big companies are really realizing, like, wait a minute, we can make trillions of dollars off of this. Yeah. Uh, ever, ever since Facebook did their big announcement thing, like, oh, we, we, we're yeah. now meta, whoa, whatever. <laughs> and every, every other big company is like, wait a minute, we can make an ass ton of money too. Yeah. <laughs> so now you just see like a huge race of like yeah. all these different VR technologies. Like I am super excited for the next year or two because yeah. all of them are just pouring like just billions of dollars into developing this technology. Yeah. Uh, and in like a year or two, we're gonna actually see the fruits of all those investments mm -hmm. and then we're all gonna be hanging out in vr doing vr things <laughs> hey <laughs> yeah hey. uh like i do have like something that's uh like you know i i, I don't know how to feel about though because you know i kind of feel like that that i'm missing out on the like you know the early days of vr like you know i i'm lucky that i didn't miss the early days of the internet where you know it's still a white wild west but you know like once companies start getting involved things will start getting you know monetized and you know, corporate, I guess you can say. I'm just uh, excited for it to, to work well. <laughs> I'm just I, I I excited a... for it to be cheap, really. Yeah, yeah. I, I have the, the, the quest too, and uh, I use the, the link uh, through the Wi-Fi router to get connected to my computer so I can get some, some better performance. But even then, like, like trying to play VR chat with the computer, like I'm just like, lagging around every now and then like the screen goes dit, 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 and then like it Dang. pauses and loads sometimes and it drives me crazy like if all of that could just be seamless with none of that that would be a dream that mm. would be an absolute dream <laughs> oh, so man, i yeah. no, another reason to, to to upgrade computers yeah <laughs> Man, oh yeah, oh. and you know, if you're getting a VR headset, you're gonna need to upgrade your computer as well. Oh no, <laughs> more money. Yeah, but the Quest 2 does a really good job of like standing on its own two legs when you're just playing games on the Quest 2. Uh, so ah. that's kind of impressive. I, I was surprised about that. Um, because taking the need for computer out of the mix makes it available to a whole lot more people. <laughs> then suddenly it's not just a application for people who are really into, you know, the gaming and big PCs. It's suddenly available for everyone. Yeah. Uh, and if you want to use your kind big like PC, console. that's an option. <laughs> yeah, it's so kind of a console. I, I, I like, yeah, I like the Quest 2 because of that. 
Uh, I don't I don't like Meta or Facebook though. They're they're they're, they're a bit scummy. But <laughs> well, they did make a good headset. Hmm. <laughs> data collection. Hmm. <laughs> I love not having any privacy. Thanks, Facebook yeah. overlords. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, let's see. Let, let's get chat a bit. Uh, Lance said, "Try to oak this Oculus photo like an hour, and honestly, I love it. Wish I had more fun for myself. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I, I I tried VR once, like a few times on rentals, and I loved it. I wish I got one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> playing rhythm games. Oh, that's so much fun. Like oh, Beat Saber, man. Just Beat Saber. Lip, all those, all those rhythm games are a ex excellent exercise, and B, they're just a stupid amount of fun because it's like." a new way of interacting with music and i find yeah. that absolutely awesome <laughs> one day one day i'll be i'll mm -hmm. get there one day who knows man i really want it, to like you know one, one day if i like if when i you know when i'm in a good financial situation i'll probably upgrade my pc get a fear headset uh, I'll try to get full body tracking and I want to make this like, you know, make uh, make this day stream where I It's like, it's just a normal stream, but it's on third person and like I'm I'm playing a VR game on And then everyone's get to watch me on third person. It's gonna be super fun and you know, less motion sickness <laughs> uh, yes, super that's, nice. that's one of my hopes. Yeah, uh, I want I want to get like some, some full body uh, tracking as well Yeah, I want like, you know, do, 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 do some dances in VR. That sounds, yeah. that sounds a whole lot of fun. Oh yeah, dancing <laughs> as well <laughs> Getting to dancing. Never danced before, so, but I really want to get into dancing really it sounds fun I, I, i've yeah. been learning uh how, how to how to do the the, the shuffle dance recently hey uh, it, same it is it is it is, it is a, a whole lot of complex uh, footwork but i i think i've been making yeah. some good progress so i want to get good at it and then get uh, full body tracking and do some pop, 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 pop moves in, in vr <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, oh, yeah and thankfully, I mean, with all the technology that's about to come out, uh, I feel like there's going to be some big headsets coming out in the very near future of like the next next year. Uh, so those are going to be available. And all the older ones like the Quest 2, those are going to be a lot cheaper. So it's going to be the perfect time to buy here soon. Eh? Yeah, can't wait. Can't wait for cheap VR mm -hmm. <laughs> and cheap body <laughs> tracking. Full body tracking currently is still expensive. So I hope it gets cheaper soon. <laughs> yes, there, there, yeah. was some, uh, there was some really cool things shown at the... Uh, what was it? C C S the the, uh, the 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 thing that just happened recently. Uh, there there was there was a lot of good videos about it. Uh, Thrill Seeker has some great videos about the technologies coming out, uh, and some cheaper full body alternatives that are also appearing as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's super excited, yeah. Again, like yeah, going crazy. I mean, hey, I I learned how to dance from like playing dance bass. <laughs> Do you know what that game is? <laughs> There's a lot of fun. I, I, yeah, it's an arcade game. Is it like is it like uh, like a like a Dance Dance Revolution sort of thing? Oh, DDR is a different one. I oh man, DDR as well, but like not exactly like DDR. Like DDR, you like you know you need to get that leg working, you know DDR. Oh uh -huh. man, DDR. I I'm, I'm surprised DDR haven't hasn't broken my legs yet. DDR and PU, <laughs> we also got PU over here. It's pump it up. It's a, it's a different from a different company, I guess. There's also like other ones like Dance Rush Stardom, which is like I don't know if it's wait where are you actually? Are, are you in like the Americas? Nah, uh, uh, I am. I am in the. I am in the. The dream world. <laughs> the dream world. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it. Oh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna say dream world. Yeah. Do you have arcades in the dream world? Actually. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, no, not uh, really. Fair, it's alright. Yeah. There, 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 there's some here and there, but uh, they're not as. Uh, they're not as prevalent as they once were. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you ever visit Asia, you do go to the arcades. <laughs> Especially yeah, Japan. I, I oh, am, man. Oh, man. I am intensely jealous of the cool arcades in Asia. Like, you, know, you, 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 you guys clown on uh, everyone across the planet. <laughs> <laughs> they do get expensive. It's gonna, you know, arcades gonna be into an unhealthy spending habit because, you know, uh, uh, one, like, you know, uh, a token is just like, I don't know, like, uh, five cent like 50 cents a token it's like hey they're cheap but then it adds up really quickly oh man i probably yeah. i spent way too much like the amount of money i spent on uh arcades i probably could spend on like uh, what you may call again uh, uh a new pc <laughs> god damn it <laughs> uh, i kind of regret going to the arcade so much but you know i made i made a lot of friends there so i i don't i guess that's like nice <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, no, you, you, those are those are experiences that money can't buy. Yeah, you, it's, I'm not I'm not paying for to play the games. I'm playing for the you know playing for the good friends. That sounds kind of sad. Yeah, that sounds kind of sad now. 
be playing for the experience, playing for the fun, and playing to yeah. hang out with people. Which I mean, that I it, over a long period of time, I think that's more worth it than than a good PC. Uh, I guess, yeah. I mean, then again, like having a good PC, you get to like you know, I guess play online, you still get can get your friends. But I guess it's like not exactly you no know, online friends, not exactly like you know physical friends. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think I think it's important to like you know have those experiences go out and, and do things because yeah. I mean I've, I've I've been you know I, I've I've been I've been in my sea of dreams for for quite a while and like you know having uh, outside experiences that are away from the computer well, th- 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 those those are important uh, even yeah. though they can be kind of kind of kind of harder to come by. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, yeah. nowadays mm-hmm. I don't really go out that much, so. Uh... I mean, back then I didn't don't even go out that much. I only go like once every like one month, two months, maybe even three months. Uh, yeah, I feel you there. Yeah. So, so every time every time I play, I'm always like soaked in sweat. Uh, those arcade oh. games is a workout. Oh yeah, that uh. makes some that's that's makes some fun as well. Because <laughs> like yeah yeah after after a little workout you yeah you have like the the, the like the endorphin rush of like oh oh. This, this was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What else, mm. actually? Uh, things like... What else? Arcades? Games? What games do you usually play, actually? I don't think I have asked um, that. <laughs> like, you know, maybe uh, your favorite see, I, genre, I, maybe? <laughs> I've been having a hard time getting into games recently, because, ah. like, uh, I, 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 I used to play them more often, but then I'm like, aha. I'm gonna focus on VTubing things, and then I focus on VTubing things for 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 months and months and months and months. Uh, <laughs> and then it's like, okay, I'm going to try to relax and play a game. And then like I look at my Steam library, even though there's like hundreds of games in there, I'm like, what do I play? <laughs> I don't I really yeah. want to play anything. Uh, yeah, just... I feel yeah. Oh man. Oh, because like a part of me is like, what if, well, like, what if I play a game and then I get, uh, I get hooked on it, I get distracted too much, and then, then it's like, ah, that's a conundrum. <laughs> so it's like, ah, uh, maybe I should be more careful about it, and then I don't yeah. end up playing it. <laughs> so I've, I've been, I've been having a hard time getting into any games recently, yeah. sadly. <laughs> No, I feel yeah, you know, like the whole, I, I, you know, the whole analysis process thinking about it, like you know, I don't have any games to play. Looks at the library f- with one hundred games. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's exactly me. Yeah, and you know, like oh. I also have that thing, you know, when I actually play a game to like relax, I sometimes feel guilty, like hey, I should be doing something productive right now. You know, I know right? There's uh, that guilty feeling in the back of your mind, like ah, uh, you're you're, what are you doing? You should be doing something productive. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like I but 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 the game. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. Oh, oh, oh! I was able to, I was able to play uh, a, a bit of a, an older game that I, I enjoyed uh, yesterday. Uh, Why is it? Because I, I, I heard a song from the game, like, ooh, that reminds me of that game. So I play the game. Uh, it's called Nuclear Throne, uh, like a like a top down roguelike game where you, you just kind of go from level to level, shooting things with a whole bunch of different guns, and it's kind of straightforward, uh, kind of simple, but. Like it, 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 it's very addicting because <laughs> there's so many different unlocks and so many different things you can do. It's like I want like this character, I want like this character. Yeah, yeah I, I, I need to I check that out. It. Need to check that out. I haven't. I heard about that, but haven't like played it. So I need yeah, to check the that out. <laughs> soundtrack is very very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, though, I have I have this problem where I kind of you know I want to buy games, but I don't want to buy games. First of all, I'm broke. Second, my mm-hmm. backlog is just it's bloating. Yeah, <laughs> my the, backlog the is backlog horrible. Problem. Oh, the, the endless backlog. backlog. <laughs> oh, it's like man. I I've had moments like oh wow I wanted to play this game for a while. I was like I buy it. Uh, it goes my Steam library. I'm like I'll play that one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one day. <laughs> oh like, man. I know. <laughs> and then it just ends uh, up never getting played. Uh, yeah, man. That's the problem. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah. yeah, and you know, I also feel like the whole, you know, after, like, even if I, even though I play games on stream, I play less now that I start featuring. Like, back then when I was still young, <laughs> young and stupid, I guess, I play <laughs> games non stop, like 24 hours, 24 yeah. 7 or something. Nowadays, I only play game like, you know, play games when I'm streaming. And I'm, I'm not even all. 
I don't even like stream like stream games all the time. I only stream them at like twice a week and then two hours per stream. So only like four hours of gaming per like week. God damn, that's like I need to game a bit more. But you know, it's kind of, it's the same dilemma. When I'm when I'm not streaming, I want to like I'm always like obsessed about trying to get my uh make my content better and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, if I play games, I'm just gonna feel balance. guilty. <laughs> just gonna feel guilty. Uh, uh. It is a very difficult balance, but uh, yeah. I feel like I'm slowly getting better at it as time yeah. goes on. <laughs> so it's a learning experience. Yeah. <laughs> the worst part is that is when you're like you know the worst part is when you're uh you know you're feeling kind of burnt out. You don't really want to like do anything. You don't want to make content. Don't you don't want to like do anything. But and you want to try to. You know, hop on a match or like you know, hop on a game for like uh, an hour maybe to just relax. But mm -hmm. when you look at your library, nothing looks fun. Nothing seems fun. Like you know, I'm yeah. not really feeling like it. Not really feeling like it. And end up, I end up just like you know, sitting on my chair for like hours and doing nothing, staring at the wall. <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I know that feeling well, except I end up just like looking at YouTube uh, and I'm like, oh, well, it's time to go oh sleep yeah, no. YouTube as well. <laughs> like you know, looking at YouTube. Laying down, watching a video, and then fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I, I feel like I have that exact same problem with like playing games and uh, watching anime. Like, uh, what anime should I watch? And then like deciding on it is really difficult. Uh, but then sometimes you know you, you watch one and you're like, oh, this is really good. I want to keep watching this. And then when that happens, like I feel like it gives you a good balance. Like, okay, I'm gonna work on VTubing stuff. I'm gonna practice some piano, and then afterwards at like nine o'clock, I'm gonna watch this anime that I'm really, really kind of getting behind. But then the anime is then the anime is done, and then it's like, oh, how do I how do I fill in this void? <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> <laughs> so what now? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that's tragic. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Sometimes I also kind of like have this feeling where I want to hang out with someone, but I'm too scared to reach out. Like, aren't they busy and stuff like that? You know, what if I just suddenly hop into DMs and like say, hey, you want to play something? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I kind of feel like, I don't know how I feel. Uh, I mean, I, they have their own busy, like, you know, their own things, you know, life <laughs> things. And I don't want to bother them, but I want to play with them. Sometimes it happens. <laughs> I, have, I have that exact same problem as well. So yeah. if, if you ever want, if you ever want to play any games together, you, you, hey. you, you can DM me. Yeah, <laughs> definitely will reach out to you. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, we like. Hey, like you should. Yeah, like, what's your Steam idea? Maybe I'll like add you there and see what games you have. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll send that to you uh, uh, on Discord after yeah, we're Discord done. Discord. Yeah. <laughs> also, yeah. Uh, I PM you three years ago. It's a gun. Oh dear, what? <laughs> three years ago? <laughs> oh dear. But yeah. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess that's a good place to end this here. We've gone oh dear, we've gone like forty minutes, but yeah, I guess I yeah. guess it's a good place to end this. Actually, it's been it's been so much fun talking with you. Actually, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This, 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 this is a fun time. <laughs> yeah, we should call it more often. Really, <laughs> thank you, thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, hello chat. Thank you, thank you for participating. Uh, yeah. It was a lot of fun. Thank you for coming as a guest as well. Thank you for wanting to come as a guest because you know, when I ask people to come as a guest, I'm always like you know, like hmm, will they will they want to come as a guest? <laughs> will I be annoying? <laughs> uh, I, I was I was definitely nervous because you know I it's social anxiety. Ooh, ooh. It's fair though. <laughs> but, it's fair. <laughs> But I, I, I definitely wanted to come. Yeah. Uh, I definitely wanted to talk, and uh, I had a great time. Yeah, <laughs> it was super fun. And yeah, uh, what you call it again? Yeah, as per tradition, I'll give you one minute to say whatever you want on stream. Go. <laughs> uh, anything I want to say on stream? Yeah. Uh, um, uh, you're pretty messed up. Uh, uh, if you want dreams, uh, best first recommendation is to take melatonin. Melatonin will help you fall asleep faster. It will make your dreams more vivid and it will help you remember it. Um, my number one recommendation, go for it. Dope. Did try that then. <laughs> I actually never <laughs> took supplements to dream, so maybe I shall try uh, it. I don't know. Melatonin, melatonin is fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, also, yeah, thank, thank you, thank you again, thank you for coming, and thank you everyone for coming to the stream and watching us talk about, mm -hmm. well, I mean, you know, random stuff, really, like, these streams are usually super random, but hey. 
<laughs> and before Remy becomes a melatonin dealer, <laughs> yeah, just in the back alley and like, hey kid, you want a dream? And then just like open your trench coat. <laughs> you can you can find it in like any convenience store. Uh, it's 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 a natural supplement. Your brain makes melatonin naturally, but this is just like, aha. Uh-huh. I I need you to make melatonin right yeah. now. Make me drowsy and make me sleepy and make me dream well. Uh, so you, I recommend it. Wait, is, is melatonin also the chemical on your eyes that makes your iris uh, dark? Uh, if it, no, it I think that's one? something. I think, this I think that's something I, I else. Uh, melatonin. Uh, it's like your brain makes serotonin when it's daytime and it makes melatonin when it's nighttime. Ah. Uh, serotonin helps you be like more alert and aware and awake, uh, while melatonin helps you put uh, put you to sleep. And all that good stuff. Uh, uh, so uh, yes, I recommend it, especially since melatonin only happens when it's like dark, and with us always being oh um, like, that chemical. I love that. Ah, <laughs> uh, now I recognize. Uh, it yeah. makes it harder to fall asleep. So melatonin is a great uh, like natural way of like counteracting that. Uh, so you can you know still have monitors and all that good stuff, and uh, still have like a good sleep schedule. So uh, I recommend it. Dope. <laughs> yeah. Jason said, "I mean, the dark early setting dreams is something that I left in my head when I was second page of it. It's setting, holding a gasoline can, setting a man's house on fire." <laughs> <laughs> actually, you know, you know that actually sounds kind of like you know, kind of makes sense. You know, like p- people who deal LSD usually say it's like, "Hey, you wanna wanna dream?" <laughs> I'm like, hey, "Oh, you dear. wanna have a cool dream while you're awake?" <laughs> That's usually oh. what people who sell LSD does. Oh dear, <laughs> Remy is secretly an LSD dealer. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> oh, I can, oh I man, but yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna end it here though because you know, yeah, I wanna rest as well. It's like it's almost midnight for me actually. Yeah, Oof. in 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 15 All minutes right. it'll be midnight. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching again and bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye everyone. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Ending the stream in five, four, three, two.